Hello and welcome back to Bath Legacy. It's 1901 and we have a new cast of characters. Say hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello. Hello everybody. Fantastic. So, guess what happened last time? The evil twins, Lenny and Kravitz, got separated and Kravitz decided to turn into a traitor and bring everyone down to hell. And then the deed of the house got all ripped up. So basically, we're fucked. <laughs> Anyways, my name is Lily O'Brien, like I said, and I'm a very famous actress. I started my career back in the 1800s in a little film called That Girl's Got Gout. <laughs> it's a musical comedy. And now I'm a big actress and I'm headed to Hollywood. Also, I'm gonna read my calling card. Well to do, that's hilarious, I know. This old thing, I could easily get another. Okay, let's start the game. Chapter nine, November 1901. Who God, this feels like a long script. Small incidents today. A few patients rave about ghosts. Some had ancestors who died when original property collapsed. Nah, I think that's all of us. <laughs> Message scratched on common room wall. Gate to hell beneath. He will find a way out. Oh my God. Found patient in basement saying, The girl told me to get to chasm. Gave patients old photos of their family. Need to keep upper floors and basement quiet. This is more like bullet points. <laughs> patients are on the front steps out of harm's way. <gasps> I think this is a hospital. Remove the new figures from the box below the storage tray. Proceed through setup to step seven using the new figures. Okay. <gasps> oh. Wow, and one of them literally matches what I'm doing. These look shockingly like what we're doing. What? Wait, really? That's wild. Let me see. Bunch Let of Warhammer 40K figures down there. <laughs> okay. Give each player the photograph in the tomb with their crest on it. Does everyone have their photograph with their crest yeah. on it? Fantastic. Unfortunately. Put the groundskeeper, chambermaid, and black hound into the tomb. Replace them with the three new inhabitants. All players start on the front steps. The player reading this chooses who goes first. Well, I want to play director this time. I go first. Oh, It's so nuts. hot in here. So I have four speed. I'm gonna go to the basement. One, two, three. I'm stuck there, because it's a large obstacle, which doesn't get in my way. I'll still get the part. Your turn. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I'm Gladys Whitmore. I can tell we're all going to be wonderful friends. Yeah. I've heard okay. tell of this house, and I hope to whip it into shape. Uh, to protect things that need to be protected, mm. treat things that need to be treated, and prune practices that ought to be prohibited. Oh. <clears throat> oh, and I'm a medical practitioner, so I can place the healing token on this card at the start of the game. One, two, three. Mm. Oh, wow! Ground floor! Wonderful. Oh! <laughs> what is it? Well, cool shoot. When you move onto this tile, immediately place your figure on the basement landing. Doing this does not cost a move. <gasps> wow! Shoom! Oh! In the basement. That was amazing. Thank you. That means you got one more Four. move if you want to. <laughs> Another basement. Wow! Thank you. <gasps> Soivis tunnels. <clears throat> Everyone on this tile rolls a maximum of four dice when attacking and defending against physical attacks. There's an item card and a lady. Ooh. But you'll look at the item first. Okay. Bowie's big burial mask. Sacred. If you would take one die of damage, you may take zero instead of roll. Mm. Mm. And who's the lady? Let's see. Hello? Hello? It's a nurse. Oh, I'm also a medical practitioner. Hey, girly. The first time you meet the nurse, turn to entry 73 in the Blink Journal. I am so glad I get to leave this place every night. Too, bla too bad you can't. I look forward to my nice steak dinner while you eat mystery meat. Ew. Kind of mm. What a bitch. Kind of rude, right? <laughs> yeah. Give the nurse a name, write it on her card. The nurse's name shall be T T. T T? T T. T T. T T. Hello! <laughs> my name is Vacuum Poppy. I'm working on a little invention we like to call uh, my vacuum. I, I'm a spiller and I spill everywhere and I'm working on inventing something that'll change the world from spills. Uh, I love this house. I, I've heard many tales of this house. My speed is four. So I'm going up, up, 
up. No, I'll go to the side. One. Outside basement. Wow, wow, wee. Oh, it looks like I got a. Oh, uh, no. Oh, because you're in the crypt. Apocryphy, apothecary, kit of <laughs> mercy. Sorry, there was dust in my eyes. My mortal enemy. It's dust. only the omens <laughs> that were like the brutes of the. You can keep. Oh, by the way, I'm an experimentalist. Duh. Drink, grab a vial from inside the kits, roll the dice to equal the number of ghosts on your tile. If you choose. If I choose. Should I save it for later? I love this little boy. I have good vibes from you. Uh, hi. My name is Billy Boodles. I'm nine years old today. Ugh. Hope nothing bad happens. I work in a factory on Tuesdays and also Wednesdays through Mondays. It's tough, but I get all the coal I can eat. Also, I'm a gambler because I'm in a gang. We throw rocks at other rocks, and there ain't never been a world war yet. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, three, and then four to explore the basement. That's oh. a fast birthday boy. Wow! <laughs> I ain't scared of nothing. I'm in the catacombs. So there's a lot of deads here. It's okay, I'm used to it. My job in the factory is ungunking all the gears from all the other kids that fell in. Mm. As soon as they turn back on, I gotta get out of there real quick. Uh, search, make a knowledge roll. Whoa! Um, all right. <laughs> what the hell? You're fantastic! Thank you. Uh, puberty, heaven. <laughs> it's oh my God. Sort of a sort of a yummy Yugi situation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a knowledge roll and try to see if I can find something pretty cool here. We, oh, I found a three. Oh, I lost all my remaining moves. That's okay because I get to meet an animal that's here too. I ain't never had a friend before. Oh, it's a monkey. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hand to God, didn't expect a monkey in that the basement. That little boy found a monkey. The first time you meet the monkey, turn the entry 97 in the Bleak Journal, please. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a monkey, I am a chimpanzee. Common mistake. Whatever this is, give it a name, write it on the card. You love chimpanzees. I could tell right away God. it was a chimp. Godforsaken animals. I guess. Oh, name it something interesting, I beg of you. Give it a biblical name. Ah. God. Jesus. God. <laughs> Bible the monkey God. Bible the monkey. Oh. Bible the monkey. You see a monkey, you must have gone mad when you discover a new tile with a monkey symbol. Bury an item or take one physical damage. And that's the end of my turn. Very good, you grown man, you. Nine years old, veteran in the field of factory work. Impressive. You should join the army. I, you want to you join my gang? No, okay. I... Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> my name is Teddy Roosevelt Braun. I am the culmination of my family's brute force and charisma, which is why I am running for president of the United States. Wow. And I'm going to head upstairs, but my turn is over now. I am a hunter, which means I can use my speed for strength. They are interchangeable for me. I have a speed of four. I'm gonna get the hell out of here with this definitely evil president. Okay. <laughs> what? Steady! If there is no search token here, make a knowledge roll. Do I have to? You can, you don't have to. Okay, then I'm moving on. Oh wait, no, I get an event. Wow! <laughs> giggling! <laughs> yes, I love, I love that. I love the giggle. <laughs> Okay, from right behind you giggling. Oh, that wasn't me who giggles, it's a clown. Hey, get out of here, clown. Count the ghosts on the tile. Zero. He honks his horn <laughs> and gives you something from his sleep. Sir, I don't want that. Sir, I don't want that. Draw the top item card. Sir, I don't want, I'll take it. Sure, that's fine. There's a clown in this house? There's a clown and a monkey. Volto, like the dog movie, crossbow. <laughs> Weapon firearm from the old world. Ooh, powerful at close range, I bet. I'll go, hello everyone. I'm just gonna move this way. One, ooh, servant's quarters. I'm gonna go another one, I get, oh no, I get an omen. Yeah, and, and an inhabitant. What voice is someone in there with you? Wow. Ooh, another person. Orderly? Orderly? Yeah. Perfect, turn to entry 92 in the bleak journal. His beefy left hand flexes menacingly. Stay where you're told. Do as you're told. This isn't my home, but I treat it that way. Give the orderly a name. Something fun, like um, Richard or Blake. Something better than TT. Dee Dee. Oh, 
I do. I said it once and I'll say it again. Bitch. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. And an omen. The hungry porcelain doll. The eyes are oddly soft. How cute. All right. Vacuum here. Mm, one, two. Looks like here I am in the carriage house where one would park their carriage. Oh, looks like I have an event. Jonah's game. A little boy stands in front of you. Another little boy? Huh. I thought I was hanging out with men. Do you know anything fun to do? Each player on a, tile, on a tile with at least one ghost takes two general damage. All right, well, I guess I'll lose one sanity and one <laughs> might. Sorry, it's Jonah's game. You may play a game. If you do, throw a die in the air and attempt to catch it on the back of the hand you threw it oh, with. Oh, no. If you succeed, gain two sanity. Otherwise, take two physical damage. Well. I'm getting deja vu. Always love a good game of sport. Yes. <laughs> now, I have inventor hands, which means they're, you know, messy. So, oh. here we go. Okay. No one can ever do that right. <laughs> I dare you. May I say your name really is Vacuum because you suck. <laughs> that was oh. excellent. Oh. Oh. Dap, me, uh, dap me up. That one. Dap me up. That that was hurt more. <laughs> well, I just got my sh rocked by a ghost. So I'm gonna go through <laughs> these catacombs. Happy birthday to me. Oh, it's the armory. When discovered, draw the top item card until you get a weapon. Ha, oh, hell yeah. I want a stiletto. Um, but then I get to meet the monkey again, I guess. So let me go see is there a weapon. No, those are ravens. Is it a weapon? Oh, it's a pistol. All right, a nine-year-old with a gun. Wow, the 1900s was sure crazy. We have a monkey named Bible and a kid with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> when you discover a new tile with an uh, animal symbol, you gotta bury an item or take physical damage. So back, Bible just falls through his Hey, hey, uh, hey. And I'm just like, oh. So I, I think I have to bury this. I can't take another physical damage this early. I think I have to, t I think I have to bury this pistol. All right, boy, start digging. I guess that makes this monkey a good person. <laughs> I, as a responsible nine-year-old, know I should not have a flintlock. All right, so I'm not taking any more damage. Here I go, upstairs. <laughs> not gonna go in Stop that room and talk to you. following me, I'm not crazy. following you. Okay. I'm not a fan of your films. <laughs> Over here. What? I love Girl Got Gout. Thank you. <laughs> it's inappropriate. Now I have a vent here. If it's another one of these games, I'm gonna punch a kid straight in the face. Oh. A note. If your family crest is on this card, gain one knowledge and bury this card. Unfortunately, just Gladys over here. All right. Place your crest on this card. I regret building this house. We yeah. shouldn't have moved it, the stones. It is his doing. Terror lies below the earth. I, of all people, should have remembered that because I was the one who helped lay the stones down centuries ago. He is awakening. He is hungry. Well, now space is cr a crest on it. Destroy this card. Tell, one, tell no one what was on it. All right. Great. So I can't actually get out of this vault. I have to go the other way around. So my speed is four. One. Get out of here. Two. <laughs> Stop following me. Mm. I'll sign an autograph, you crazy teddy. Winter bedroom. So cold. What'd you guys think? <laughs> okay. I believe you. Thank you. Event. Molted. <gasps> A small bloody husk. Okay. <laughs> Something is cracked open or molted. <gasps> All that is left is a dry shell. So how is crawling towards you? Okay, who wrote these cards? <laughs> roll the dice equal to the number of checked boxes. So there's only one checked box. So I can only roll one dice. Okay. We'll uh, say that's a two. Two! Two. Get out of there. Okay, two to three. You flee! My hat! Draw the top tile, place it, and place your figure there. Lose one sanity. All right, so it threw you into the kitchen. It also means you draw an omen. Oh, yes, this is so fun. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what just happened? Sacred, it's the crucifix of banishing. It's so sacred. Crudely made, but sharp. You can tell it has killed before. That's it, I'm gonna keep it, because it's- an Nice, I'm gonna make a hot roll now. Can I give this back to you? Mm-hmm. Oops, get these out of here. Well, we still a four, so you're good. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot. We forgot one more thing. 
in the winter bedroom, the monkey followed you because there's a monkey thing here. So you got to bury an item or take a physical damage. I don't want that monkey near me. Well, he's, he's near you. I have to bury an item? I guess I'll just bury the only item that I have. Okay. It's the only item that I have. I know. You're done, yes. yes. Soundproof room. You can only whisper while your figure is on this tile. And that's an omen and a pet. But first happens the pet. Not the monkey. Bibleth. Hello, Bibleth. Do you have an item to give away? Sure. Now, how does this chimpanzee keep jumping around? Yeah. So you're burying the mask, and now you got a little omen. Wedding veil of demons, sacred, never worn. Move your figure as many tiles as the number of ghosts on your tile. One. Ooh, you may ignore all obstacles and effects on tiles you move onto. You cannot explore the other worlds. Use this special movement or discover a tile this way. Hunt rule. Ah, oh, sh. All it's right. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's a four. Whoa, wee. Wow, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Bible, stay there. Up I go. Oh. Bible, the. Bible, the. Bible. Bible. Uh, looks like I'm in the woodshed. And I have an item in here. Wow. Oh, the bronze bells. Bells, sacred. For an animal collar? For a ritual? Chime. Gain one sanity, then move everyone one tile. Then bury this card. Do you want to use it right now? Oh, no, I'll save it. I'll save it. All right. Well... I just went, th I saw a bunch of dead bodies and then I found a Thank weapon. You. This has been a pretty cool birthday. So I'm gonna leave the happy birthday to me to two, three. It's your birthday? It's my mm -hmm. birthday all day. Hope nothing bad happens other than getting strangled by a ghost. Basement tile, all right. Aw, oh, nuts. I'm in the nursery. That's for little kids. I get to see the old lady. Where's the old lady? Um. You mean the one that you named? Oh. I, her Dee name Dee. is T.T.? Where's T.T.? T.T. Where's the titty lady? Where's the hell T.T. T.T. Silly woman was under the service tunnels. <laughs> Crawling around. T.T., what are you doing? So I got to meet T.T. down here, and I, I get the opportunity she's going to feed me food. Depending on the role, sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's really bad. But I'm a gambler, you see. So I'm gonna try to eat. I'm gonna roll and I hope it's a three. Oh God, yeah! Gain two in one trait. I have a speed of four, so I'm gonna boost that up to six. So it can nobody stop me with my little boy legs. This kid runs fast. All right, and I am also gonna get to draw an omen. <gasps> the Talisman of Poltergeist. I can ignore all penalties caused by ghosts on event and ongoing event cards. It's also sacred, that's nice. Now we got what, five on the table? Aw, oh, nuts. Um, Ooh. that's a seven, but hold on, once on your- Oh, it's a trait roll. Looks like the heart has begun! Yay. Look at the car! 1901, the portrait. Turn to entry 201 in the bleak journal. On the back of every photograph, childlike writing swims into focus before our eyes. Uh, someday, uh, you will have to go back to where the devil man lives. All your lives, you've heard whispered stories and dreamt dark dreams of your ancestors trapped in H E double heck. You prayed they were only rumors, only nightmares, but no, on this day, the portrait that hangs on the wall calls each of you by name and speaks to you, confirming the things in the stories are true. It is time to take charge. It's time to act. The Haunt Revealer should draw the next card in the Legacy deck, the portrait, and give it its true name, the Deranged Portrait. <gasps> Whoever is judged takes one general damage. Each other player on the same branch takes one physical damage. So we're going to consult the helm. So if you're not familiar with the helm, we got runes here, all our family crests, and, all, and we gotta draw a rune randomly from the bag and then roll a die, and whoever it lands on, that's who's in trouble. I'm randomly drawing. Knowing my family tree. <sighs> Probably my turn. It's it's the little chicken foot, which means it could only end up being a brawn or a Whitmore. <laughs> so let's go ahead and roll the die. It's not good for you guys. It's okay. Zero, which means it's nobody. Every other player on the branch takes one physical damage. So each of y'all takes physical damage, not you. Oh, great. The player with the medical practitioner calling is the traitor. Ew. What? Me? If uh Fine. <laughs> I knew it! You seemed so nice, but you're the devil. The heroes and traitors should turn to haunt 38 angels and demons in their respective books. So you gotta go now, and we'll Bye. tell you what we're doing. 
<clears throat> Never trust a nanny. The bottom half of me. <laughs> yeah. I will be back. She's so quirky. That jacket is like very hot on you. This one is called Angels and Demons, the Dan Brown novel. The portrait has showed us. It has shown us the illusion of this place. One of us, the strange one, the one we don't trust, has summoned demons. And these demons are trying to get back at us back to their land to eat us. Even worse, this former friend has some serum that'll sap our will to fight back. We must talk to the angels to find out what to do next. So we know this to be true. The medical practitioner, the traitor, has summoned a bunch of demons to devour our bones and souls. And that if our sanity is all restored to normal, we're under their spell and lose. So we all start off by taking one sanity damage if we're still at max. So you would do that and you would do that. Uh, so here's basically what we're trying to do. I'm gonna knock off that voice for a minute. Our goal is to talk to six angels. And meanwhile, we're gonna be fighting the demons and stunning them. Um, as the holder of the deranged portrait, I'm able to ask it a question, and if I do, it allows me to come up with a crazy plan. And if I have a crazy plan, when I fight a demon, it isn't stunned, it is killed. We need to talk to six angels. Angels take the form of outside cards with event tiles on them. So if there's an event tile on them, we can instead talk to an angel. If we do that, then we get to place a rune down. We gotta do that six whole times and kill the traitor. Do not read this box to the heroes. They have a very different perception of reality. Comfort them when you can. This has gone on long enough. The patients have been ranting about the house on the hill being haunted and someone betraying them for some time. They keep collecting junk, calling them omens and items. Not unusual, but it has been intensifying lately. Something in the portrait has triggered them, and they look violently upon me. I must get them to their rooms for their own safety. I know these things to be true, that they need medicating, and that the attendants can guide them to their rooms. Hopefully they go complacently. As the future president of the United States, <laughs> I must first help this little Man, that's downstairs. I, I'm on my way, but I, I get stopped because there's a box in front of the stairs, and I kind of have to be like, ah, oh, I've got to deal with this. Boxes are crazy. <laughs> my turn. Run, woman, run. The specimen room. <gasps> What's that about? There's an event there. <gasps> event. Babies cry. I can't have one. It would hurt my career. A disquieting sound, lost and pitiful. A scream. The crack of breaking wood. Then silence. Roll one die for each omen in play. Oh, can I have six die? Sure can. I want some more. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. What the hell? One, Ten. two, three. Okay, great. Oh. Take one die of mental damage. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Fine by me. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> Did you believe that? Oh my wow. god. I was, actually, actors, I, was, I was actually fooled. You actors are the absolute worst. Ah, uh, uh, two! Eek! I wouldn't do sanity. All I need is to be able to read a script. That's really all that matters. <laughs> I will just say. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. The state of this asylum is less than satisfactory, and I think we need to whip it into shape. So I've called some helpers to help me whip things into oh, shape. Oh no, I'm scared. Let the inquisition of the asylum begin. Oh. The inquisition. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Ah, beans. Little boy, you shouldn't be on your own. Mm, yeah. I will make a might roll against you to tell you what to do. You're gonna hit a kid in yes, 1901? I will. Wow. I didn't want to, but you're too dirty not to hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's dirty! Oh, I have a suggestion okay. for that that isn't hitting. What are you gonna do? It's my own invention! No! You light a fire, and this thing has a motor. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to make a mite roll. I'm not gonna hit you, I'm just gonna pick you up. Yes, I'm Jesus going to- Jesus, Teddy I'm right. picking you the fuck up. I'm saying well, dirt you? isn't a problem, woman. First of all, it's coal all over me. Second of all, it's impossible for me to roll higher than that with mites. So I can move you as many tiles as my result, which is eight. Dog, what? To move yourself and that hero, one. Come with me, Grab little me by boy. The ear. Ah, come here. Two, three, four, 
five, six. I'll say it. Where is that chimpanzee when you need him? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, now that we're here, little boy, my helpers are gonna give you some, some tea. Well, guess what? I'm in a gang, so get ready. Uh, they have a mite of five. Jesus Christ. Maybe. Okay. No, I'm, oh, well, three. Three, all right, here I go. I'm gonna roll three now. Oh. Scoop. Oh, it's a three. Meet the beat. Boom. Nothing happened. Blats. Good job, little boy. Good job. Wow, I'm a warrior down there. Too bad there's three more on this time. Oh, <laughs> sh. <laughs> I love Look how, away, he's gonna die. One, two, okay. Three, four, About five. to witness a death. I still wanna see it. So we rolled a five. We rolled a five. I can, I can make a six. But I didn't. Three. Three. So I take uh, two. No, wait. Increase your sanity by one. Oh man. Uh -oh. Now there's another one. No, He's also gonna give you more. <laughs> they just keep, they all have the little tea things and they just keep shoveling it in your mouth. Don't tea. listen to what they're telling you. I hate tea. <laughs> mm, isn't it good? One, two, oh, I need more. Christ! One, two, three. Increase your sanity by one. Wow. That's two of them. Everything is set up for the upper class to win and the lower <laughs> class to work themselves to death. I'm sorry, everything's starting to become real clear. Stay back down here, it's more fun. And then this one's gonna move. So I've done two of their turns. This one's gonna move this way. One, oh, hey. two, hello. No! You want some tea, woman? I'm part of the union. Which union? <laughs> <laughs> it's very old. One, two, it's three, four, old. five, six. I played an orphan once. It was for Anastasia. Annie. Annie, I was in Annie the Musical Comedy. Roll, woman, roll! Okay, vacuum. Four, four. Increase your sanity by one. Oh. No. And this one's gonna go this way. Stay one, back, demon. Two. Stay back, demon. Watch out, Mr. President. <laughs> All done. Oh, oh. I guess you're good. I'm okay. Jesus. Oh, I got scared there. Four now. He just walked up to me and just stared me in the face. Here we go. I'm gonna go this way back to the carriage house to talk to an angel. All right, so to talk to an angel, you lose one sanity. A price vacuum's willing to pay. But we get to place one rune on your event tile. Using this rune, I will talk to an angel. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Vacuum's a vocalist. <laughs> Hello. Hello. He's talking to the angel. Hello. I must speak to you because there's a lot going on here. Who are you? I am Gabriel. <laughs> oh, Gabriel. I, I, I don't know what specifically I'm supposed to talk to you about, but will my invention, the vacuum, ever get made? Yes, it will get made. And it will get improved upon for years to come until it's like skinny. Like... And does it, and the thing I'm caught up on is, does it need fire? <laughs> In what world? <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right. I, I talked to the angel. One. Oh no, I, the angel. Oh, I went one already. So two, three. Let's fight, motherfucker. Are you attacking a demon? I'm gonna attack a demon. All right. Four. Four. My helper has a might of five. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing. So happens. the good news is. She could say I had two to her result because she talked to an angel this turn. So it's a six versus a six. Which nothing happens. Nothing happens, but I just want to say hey. God, I love my faith. All right, now we're playing with fire. Stop doing fire on everything. All right, stand back, everyone. It's my turn, and I don't like being talked to mean by an old lady. So what I'm first going to do is hold up the deranged portrait, and I'm going to ask it a question. I think girls are yucky. Is that gonna change? That's up to you. Okay, cool. All right, uh, now that I've talked to it, I have a crazy plan. And I'm going to beat the hell out of this old lady. <gasps> Yay! I'd like to oh. see you try. You're gonna. Billy Poodles! Uh, oh, it's a six! Yay! Yeah. Strong Way thing, to go, Billy. Billy! Well done! You should be drafted by the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> They'll write books about you one day. Are you all gonna cheer for me as well? No. 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 Okay. No. You're a smelly one, bitch. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> all right, so you're gonna take one physical damage. I have to stop Gladly. calling people bitch. That was uh, just one of my moves. So now, I know there's three obstacles here, but I get to go one, two, three, four. Go, Billy, go talk to an angel, Billy. 
six, and I think he is hoping there's an event. I just walked outside into a muskeg. I don't even know what that is, but it makes me draw an omen. So I get the hand mirror of vengeance. It allows me to roll dice equal to the number of ghosts on my tile. All right. Mr. President. All right. Oh. All right, demon. Oh, oh no, Come is here. the president drunk? Don't hit me. <laughs> Luckily, I had a flask in my back pocket. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm really the president. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> You're actually way harder oh, now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Teddy Roosevelt's getting into it. I'm a hunter, so I use my speed for might. More was, like Daddy that Roosevelt. Was, that was Muscle Man Randy Savage turned into Axl Rose, and both of them have had a stroke. That's right, it's 1901. The World's Fair coming down on you. Ooh, that is a six. I'm gonna get hurt. One, two, three. Oh. So two physical <gasps> damage. Two physical damage, yeah! three damage. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, just a little, oh, and I launch him up into the ceiling, his head stuck into the top floor. Now he's out of my way. One, two, three, four. Oh, shit. What's up, Gladys? What's up, va vacuum? <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm late to the party, but I'm here. And I'm drunk as hell. Yeah. A reek of whiskey. You smell. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Buffalo Trace. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Stuff. I'm all done. I can't attack again. My arm's a little, little sore now. I'm gonna give it a little rest. Put it in my pocket. Oh, Mr. President. Okay, I'm gonna attack you. Sorry, my sleeves. No, that's okay. I'm gonna attack you, small monster. Do your worst. I will. Ooh, three. Ooh, not good. Ooh, all good. Six. All right, but they don't do any damage when defending, so you're safe. You're safe. Yay! I'm gonna fight again. You cannot. You can't I'm gonna keep moving. You, you cannot. Can't do that, I'm mean. done. <laughs> <laughs> Little boy, come back in this house right now. Up One. yours with a rusty oh. spoon. Oh, oh, nice. Now, let's get this party started. I'll move this guy first. I love One, parties. Two, okay. Blue boy. Blue boy. boy. That's a painting. Absolutely wasted. Oh man. Okay, five. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Two. You gain one sanity. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. No. That was terrifying. <laughs> this second one is going to also, uh, the first one was like pumping your stomach, you're on the ground, and he's like, get you. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see. Oh, not great. Two. Ah, oh, you're not gonna get my heart going here. Ah, uh, two. two. Nothing happens. Ah. And then this one, the third one, ah, is going on. to third time attack to you. <laughs> let's see what you got. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, rah, rah. it's feeling crazy in here. Two. two. What did I get? Five. Oh, five. Yeah, gave one sanity. It's my turn, and I'm gonna move everything over here just so we got a little bit of separation Whoa. of church and state. This kid the, is the power of God. Is moving. Ah. My God, Billy, you're God. Never forget, I can do that. I'm gonna keep on exploring and see if I can find an so outside tile. Oh, looky there! It's the woods. It's the woods that has um a little. Oh, you can talk to an angel. So I'm gonna talk to an angel. Dear Jesus. Uh, not an angel. Uh, mm. I told you this. Okay. <laughs> Wrong number. How many times have we talked about this? Dear Mephisto, please okay. help. Oh, I'm crazy now. <laughs> so I lost one sanity. <laughs> nice. All right, and so now I gotta do the actual event that's on the tile. Revenge from below. Something from H-E double heck is straining to break free. You feel warm breath on the back of your neck. You turn out, but nothing's there. A cold hand grabs your ankle. You hear a distant whisper. Revenge. Make a mic roll. Okay, please be zeros. Okay, it's a four. God damn it, it gained one sanity. <laughs> ah! You shout, return. And the bony hand disappears. I'm the fucking sanest one here, and I'm so mad about it. All right, I gotta get out of here. 
Ah, that's all I can do. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna move, because I can't attack, which is fine. I'll use my other strength, which is my legs. <laughs> go on. outside, go. Oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. My might is at four. Ooh. So I'm going to roll four against you, woman, harlot. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is your Ooh. might at? <laughs> Don't fight. Oh, ew. I'm not, I didn't Don't up. throw up. This dress is the only one I have. <gasps> Five. So you gain one Senate. Oh wait, no, I take your item. What? what? I confiscate, I confiscate your country. She doesn't have an item. Crucifix of Vanishing. It's, a, it's an ornament. Oh. <laughs> Old ladies hate you. Now I can do them. Okay. One, two. And then one is going to attack you. Look at me and all two, these two, three, four, orderlies. Four. So, my next thing I'm thinking about is, uh, uh you Quiet! Can't... One, two, three, five. four, five. Come on! <laughs> Jesus, oh, Kitty, what is that? No! No! No, don't do To be fair, how else would vacuum the be? The spoon! Wait, the vacuum! That's a wood chipper! The suction is too big! That's, a, that's a wood chipper, that is not a vacuum. Oh, no, no, no! Fire! Fire! <laughs> fire! Oh no, I'm getting a sanity! Which means, no, I was the last one to get, no! Hello? Oh. Little boy, come back! No! Yes, you're gonna come, because you're safe. Billy, yes, I will. run! And go, come Billy, go! Which direction? <laughs> I'm, I'm sprinting towards her like, okay! And I'm, I'm, I'm walking, but somehow my character's like floating, walking, like speed walking. She can fly! <laughs> She's like, wait, oh, I'm sorry. Are you just Mary Poppins now? Yeah, absolutely. You're just feeding us absolutely, absolutely. I'm like flying towards him. I'm like, this <laughs> boy. Where's Tuppins when you need him? And I Literally. grab him by the ear and I whoop, whoop. I'm just gonna push you all inside. Hello, oh. everyone. So what happens now that we're sane, Miss? They're back in their cells, but you won't be able to hold them much longer. <clears throat> they aren't crazy. They just know something the world doesn't want to know. Soon you'll have to free them, but even when you do, they'll be back. Either them, or their children, or their cousins. The house calls to these families. They're bound to him. They'd be better off crazy, because no matter how they prepare, they won't be able to stop him. Choose one crest other than yours on the helm. Blacken it completely. I am going to blacken the O'Briens. How dare you! How dare Somebody you! Somebody get my carriage! Did you believe that? Mm. Reality is hard and cold and smells bad. My mind place is happy. I'll go there instead. I've written a prescription that should help maintain a grip on reality. Yeah. First, do no harm. Well, I honestly can't say for sure. It doesn't matter. He'll find a way out. He's almost here. There's nowhere to hide. Well, I'm glad everyone has their wits about them now. I said I would whip this place into shape, and I did. Whit more. Whit this place into shape. Exactly. Whit. Oh. Does that mean we're dead? No. No. We're no. Dead. no. We're healthy. We're healthy. I was giving you medicine. I don't want to be healthy. I'll never buck. Listen, I'm sorry. If I'm stuck here, I'm never going to be able to go to work at my job at the factories on Tuesdays and then Wednesdays through Mondays. That's okay, maybe let's learn how to read. As the President of the United States, no. I demand more of these drugs that you're giving me. <laughs> okay, open up. Ah! Uh, not the whole spoon! <laughs>Welcome back to Bath Legacy. I'm Adam Whitmore. My mom, Gladys, couldn't handle me because I'm a little rough around the edges. Put your hat on. Uh -oh. I sell papers. I live on 19 North Sycamore Street. Don't track me down. <laughs> I'm an occultist, which means I study that which I fear. And I don't fear anything, so I don't study a lot. <laughs> Consult the helm. Whoever is judged gains one tra in any trait, then draws and reads this card. All right, so now you're gonna roll this die here. That's one meaning that this family judge your brains. Gain one in any trait first. That's fine by me. Sanity. Mm. I need all the help I can get when I'm dancing for those men. Chapter 10, December 1925. 
Dearest brethren, the time has come. We have had many names. Coven, Dark Council, Devil's Coachman, but always have we served him. The Bound Wolf. Tonight is the night. The stars are aligned. The patients have been locked and barricaded in the basement, so their screams may fuel the ritual. How fun. We must do all we can to free him. We must find a new way. Destroy the basement landing. Shuffle the tiles from planks 17 and 18 into the stack, except for the new basement landing tile on plank 18, which you should set out as the new landing. You guys ready for this? All right. Your rest is too crazy. <laughs> oh, I barely heard the tear. All I heard was a cough. <laughs> Give each player the photograph in the tomb with their crest on it. Sweet wow. Here's mine. All players start on the basement landing. You take the first turn. <gasps> yippity doo da scoot day Here we go. Hi, my name is Dorothy, and my mother's name was Lily, and she was a very famous actress in That Girl's Got Gout. I'm a dancer. I dance at the tea room. That's my boss over there. He's a sweet man. He's very old, and he's 30. I'm 19. And also, I'm a hunter. I like to hunt men for money. Okay, hit it before it hits me, correct? You may use speed instead of might when making my attack rolls. So, let's check this out. I got fast speed when I have to dance. Doobity wop bop bop. Okay, here we go. Speed four. One. Can you do that for me, boss? No problem, sugar eyes. Sugar eyes? <laughs> I love being called sugar eyes. That's what gets all the boys to the dance room. Secret staircase with some paws. Yikes. The hallway and this tiles are adjacent to each other. Oh, so immediately you could already get back up to the hallway and the basement isn't even a problem. So that's pretty good. Some kind of cat in here. scooby doo wop up. Let's go. One, two. Here you go, sugar eyes. Thanks, old bubby. That's what I call my dad and the owner of the tea room. It's not problematic at all. Ritual room. Ooh, I got an omen card. And there's two ghosts. Deranged portrait. Probably just your imagination that its lips occasionally seem to move. What? You may make a knowledge or sanity roll. You mind if I go? Hmm. Good? Yeah, what's your name? Adam. What's yours? I wish it was Eve. Mm. You're quick, yeah, aren't that's you? Clever. Two. Let me get you a basement tile, sir. That's my boss. Yeah. I sell papers for him. That's my boss, too. Really? Really? Huh. Huh. I'm a businessman. I can't read it. Mundane elevator? All right, so <laughs> if you. Let me tell you, sir, let me. It's a time, because I know you probably never had this talk with you. It's time to tell you about elevators. You can move this tile and everything on it adjacent to an open doorway on the upper landing, basement landing, or entrance hall. Bubby. We can't understand you. Well, I'm gonna keep going. Hey, how are you? Hi. Bye, too. Okay. Let me get you a basement tile. Bye, right, so we're down here in the underground cavern. Ongoing events, summoning, candles in an intricate pattern, a thousand eyes floating in the air. Something is entering our world. If the haunt has started, bury it has not. Flip the eye token and place it on this tile. Each time a player enters the tile, flip the token like a coin. Eyes closed, everyone on the tile gains one sanity. Eyes open, everyone on the tile loses one sanity. Okay, great. All right, finally some shelter. I'm coming to this house. I don't know who's in here or why. My name's Puddles Poppy. Uh. Flowers, flowers, finally a break to stop selling flowers on the street. Maybe finally I can get some rest. I'm nine years old. Here I go exploring the basement because I'm cold. One. Oh, right. Oh, right. I'm in the organ room with a secret passage and an event. But first, I should be careful and say I'm an investigator, which means sometimes cards and rooms will have events on them and I don't need to experience them. But today, I will. Flowers. <laughs> Miss from the walls. Miss powers out the walls. Whoa! I'm cold already. Now, water. There are faces in the mist, human and inhuman. Spirits that are summoned once have not found rest. Me either, because I've been selling flowers. Each player in the basement must make a sanity roll. Each result affects one of the players making that roll. Well, I really wish you wouldn't have done that event, but let's go, all right. Me so, too, so Shooksy. Now, I'm pretty sane. I'm not going to make any claims about superlatives, but I'm going to roll five dice. All right, so I got to... 
three, four, five, six, seven. Plus seven. four. The faces are tricks of light and shadow. All is well. Game one sanity. You in the basement too, sir? Yep. Yeah. All right. Roll. Yes, sir. Oh, oh God. All right. Uh oh. Unsanitary. Oh. oh. One, All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus four. The faces are tricks of light. Game one sanity. Four. Four plus game one sanity. Yeah. Plus four, gain one sanity! Thank you, Flowers. That's maybe the best surrender that you ever had. All right, now my turn. Last but not least, paddles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take two mental damage and place <laughs> your figure on the crypt if it is in play. All right, would you mind if I go ahead and start my turn? No, sir. It's mighty gracious to you. Thank you very much. My name is America Boodle. Uh, I am a small business owner. Uh, my employee here works at the normal tea room, and in the basement in the 1920s, all we make is tea. So if you know anyone looking for tea and normal tea, you know who to go to. <laughs> scooby doo bop bop scooby doo just like how I taught her. It's just, Water? This is normal tea. Dang. Puddles probably hasn't had water in a decade. Right. Your first woman I ever saw. Really? Yeah. What happened to your mother? Dead. I'm gonna go ahead and move around in this here basement now. Sorry to bother you, miss, but I'm gonna scoot on by through the organ room. Oh, we got the cistern. All right, so uh, it means I get to look at a basement item. Oh, I found some cultist robes. They're sacred. If you would take physical damage, you can take general damage instead. General damage. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this my family's heirloom because you know what, these robes, I, I wanna pass them down to my king. Uh, so, since it's my family's heirloom, I get to gain one sanity while I'm doing this, and, uh, I don't want to make any superlatives or hyperbolic statements, but I do have six sanity, so you make your own judgments in comparison to who seems the saints one here. What you gonna name it? Uh, good old American, um, normal American cultist robes. I thought you were gonna name it Dorothy. So I've gone ahead and drawn this item and I made it normal American cultist robes and made it my heirloom. But what I'm also gonna do is embarrass it for my kin to find later. Uh, because that means I get to gain two in any uh, trait. So I wanna become even more sane now. I got some insanity. And good luck to my kin in the future finding it. Maybe I shouldn't have made it my heirloom first, but whatever, I'm a businessman. Go on with your bad self. <laughs> Holy oh. shit. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's go and get you the basement, 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 Grandpa. Sanity. Everyone, everyone on the tile, including you, Ooh. loses one. Loses one sanity. Oh, you You're lose pretty one. Fun. Oh wait, you what? lose. You lose. One. You lose one. We lose one. This is worse than when I lost my bouquet of flowers and I couldn't pay for water for months. All right, it's finally my turn. Dee 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 dee, ba da sha ba da da ba da 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 do. Ooh, I'm an I'm 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 an idiot. I, I, I'm an okay? okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I fell down the stairs. When discovered, draw the top item card until you get a weapon. Then bury the rest of the cards and reshuffle the item deck. If there are no weapons, you get nothing. Asshole bone saw. That's a weapon. That's a weapon. The tails of my father. Now, can I ask you a question, Sugar? <laughs> Do you want this to be your family heirloom as well? Because there can be two family heirlooms. I here. definitely want an asshole bone saw as my family heirloom. Oh, Let's have the Poppy family finally reunite because we've had some bad blood. So my mom Lily told me. Before my grandfather vacuum Poppy dropped me on the side of the road, he told me never to speak to anyone with the last name O'Brien. So then. I'm done, and then I just hang on to this. Here we go. What's up? Papers, get your papers. Here we go, one. Search, make a knowledge roll. I'm not gonna search. All right, it's time for next basement turn. Boom. Uh, hand mirror of vengeance. It shows its own image rather than reflecting. You feel like you could pass through the mirror or reach through it or see the future. All right, That's I'm gonna go, I want to go to the elevator. One, two, three. Where are you taking it, Sam? I'm gonna take it upstairs. And then four. That's it. 
Right. I just need some of my Jesus milk. Everybody hold on for a second. Bubby. Mm. Sorry about that. <laughs> He's off the clock. This is a one, two, three, four. That's the basement. Oh, gosh, I mean, it's time for me to get an omen there, too. Here we go. We're going to draw an omen. I'm like a good Christian man. The broke civil rights. It's start of your turn, you can gain additional moves because the number goes on your side. I think he said the brooch of rage. I did. All right, brooch of the rage. Uh, so now that I've drawn three omens, we got three omens here. I'm gonna roll three different things for the omen tile. Here we go. One, two, we're good. No honks. Now, soon, it's your turn. Of course it is. Newspaper man, can you move me? Mm-hmm. Great. Sure can. Where do you want to go? One. Uh-huh. And uh, two. Mm-hmm. And three. Four. Oh, Ritual what? room. I guess Ooh. that's really all I can do. And here I Kay. go. One. Two. Uh-oh. I have to. I know. <gasps> no! 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 All of us? No, I'm just this time. All right. <gasps> He's up here with me. Flowers. Papers. Up here, one. Oh, so, I'm so sorry. No, it's totally so fine. The common room. There's an event, but I'm going to choose to. No, I want it. A lot. Stacked furniture. The furniture in this room is stacked in the strangest of ways. The pile hatches towards you. Make a might roll. If this box is checked, subtract two from the result. All right, my might is four, so I'll row four. Subtract two from the result, so I have to resort I. Got five. Mine is two, which is three. Take one physical damage. Uh-oh. Oh, God, it's hard to be in this house. I'd rather be outside in a paddle. Go, old man, go. Now, I'll have you know, young lady, I'm only 30 years old. But you're on your last year. Well, I don't know why you keep saying that. It's true. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and scoot on one for the basement. Here we go. Oh, uh, we got the vault. Um, if there's no search token here, I can use a knowledge roll. And if I use my knowledge roll, I can see if I can get the vault open. Um, and I get two items if I do that. So I'm going to start that. I'm going to make a knowledge roll, and I hope I get six. All right, let's go. Well, in my two. eyes. You know what I'm going to do, everybody? I'm going to consult I'm going to consult that. You know, see, see it with me. Consult that. Oh, I was, I was just gonna do a little <laughs> finger touch. Oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. good. I'm all set. Man. Ew, that's how you show respect to Bubby. You know what? That's how you show your respect. You don't kiss you the rings. Do you gotta rub your face in my tummy blood. I want you to adopt me, <laughs> like Daddy Warbucks. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna consult the helm. Thus completing a portion of the helm, which some of the comments were kind enough to point out, we've been doing wrong. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna do this on the one that looks mm. like the R Sauron. All right, so let me roll four. Ah, oh, shit in my eyes. Hold on a second. In his eyes. Uh, start it's, a, it's a, it's a it's turn a of phrase. It's a turn. So since I filled up that part of the helm, I've got to turn to entry 136 to see what the heck happens to me. We crossed the endless ocean, seeking a location where the tree of life touched our world. We searched Snayland, Grainland, Markland, until at last we found a place where a root of Yggdrasil touched Midgard. <laughs> if I had a nickel. Uh, from here we could get to any realms. From here we could get to hell. Gain for sanity. All right, well, look at me go. I am, uh, well, I don't want to say anything too braggadocious, but I'm pretty sane. Good job, Bubby. Doesn't, I don't get to do nothing. I'm going to keep searching though later, but what I do get to do is an event. Um, the shifting room. Read this card privately. <laughs> it's private. <laughs> So he's shitting oh your eyes like a ton oh of fright. Boy. All right, so I had to read that card in secret, but I'm able to summarize basically what happened. 
Uh, I saw some visions that were so horrible, I'm not gonna be repeating them, but I took two damage to my mind. And oh. I hope nobody else ever has to see those visions again, because it was a real bummer, especially for you. <laughs> Bubby, stop taking all that cough syrup, I, I told you. Listen, I need this morphine, it gets me normal. Buster! You wanna get adopted too soon? I'm 18. All right. Up there, yes. Buster wants to go up there. You got it. Wait, do we agree you're my daughter now? No. All right. Great. Now we do have to make a hot roll at this point, and there's four dice to roll, so get ready. Here we go, champion. Let's go this way towards the servant quarters. I'm gonna show you the basement, but can you sing that song you know I love? <laughs> All right. Burberry and I do to draw I can the read it, Puddles. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Barry, an item card. Draw the top item card. <laughs> you don't have to do good. <laughs> right. I'm moving on up. Scooby! Oh, here what? we go. Now, you can only whisper while you're on this tile. So Sam, free free. I like to whisper to my clients when it's late at night. So, Jaggy, oh. The hungry porcelain doll. The eyes are oddly soft. Ooh. On your turn, the porcelain doll counts as a ghost on your tile. Ooh, yucky. So, now we gotta do some kind of omen. And I'm role. done. Well, you gotta one, two, three, four, five, five times with the hump. Can I get a cigarette? Can, can someone light this? Can you oh, light I got it? An idea. Can you light it? Hold on. Oh, Bubby, Bubby, you can't do the cough syrup. Thank you. Wow! Finally, a little bit of warmth. <gasps> Seven. You know what that means? It's time to, to be hated. The haunt has begun. <gasps> 1925. The Chris. Turn to entry 161 in the Blink Journal. We steel ourselves to face this dark brotherhood, but we are compelled to pull the photographs from our pockets. On one more words shimmer into focus. The magic stones have powers. Depending on the tile, the haunt revealer is on. Turn to the matching entry in the Bleak Journal. The piecing together of disassociated knowledge will open up such terrifying vistas that we shall go mad from the revelation. If we can open a dimension near hell, perhaps he can escape his prison. One of us is hidden among the victims to keep the ritual from being interrupted. Let us begin. <gasps> the haunt revealer should draw the next card in the legacy deck. The Chris, give it its true name, the Chris of Summoning. They are now carrying it. Wowzy, wowzy. Consult the helm. Whoever is judged loses one sanity and one might. Each other player on the same branch loses one sanity. Oh, That's a lot, Bubby. Bubby. M. Okay, so it's this one. So it's M. So now we gotta roll to die. Yes. Two. So that would be the Bible. That's Poppy. What happened? Whoever is judged loses one sanity and one might. Each player on the same branch loses one sanity. Damn it! One sanity. That's us. One sanity, one might. We lose one sanity. sanity might. You lose a lot. One sanity and one might. One sanity, one might. Just a heads up for everyone. I'm really hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, we know. The traitor in this haunt is hidden among you. <gasps> of course. The heroes and traitors should turn to Haunt 49. The elder thing comes in the secrets of survival book. Right, everybody, this one is called The Elder Thing Comes. Basically, we don't know who the traitor is yet. We've all been passed out random numbers, so we're all gonna be doing the same things on our turn. We're gonna move a cultist, and we're gonna place a cultist on any landing tile. If you are the traitor, which is a secret, you're trying to get all the cultists to come to you on your tile so you can invoke an otherworldly demon from beyond. The rest of us are trying to get to this portal and close it by making a knowledge roll of over 13. Now, there are some certain things that we 
we can do to give ourselves more knowledge, such as the person who's holding the Chris. The ritual dagger can start placing runes in the basement. More runes in the basement means more knowledge. Also, if we kill a cultist, we can lose a little sanity to gain some knowledge. So it's a bit it's a bit of a trade-off back and forth. And I just want to say I love working with all of you. Sorry to hear that one of y'all is not very nice, but it's a good Christian man, I forgive you. Okay, here I go. I'm moving this occultist this way. Oh, and now I'm placing an occultist here. Oh, uh, and now I'm going upstairs and fucking up this occultist. Whoa! Woo! All right, what's your might? Four. The occultist has a might of three, so good Ooh. luck. <laughs> Don't like that. Well, no, you got an advantage. I'm from Brooklyn. Woo! Woo, there's a five right there. You're from Brooklyn? Yeah. Nice. Where are you from? The tea room. Your normal tea room. Born and raised. That's the three, so the cultist takes two damage. Cultist is dead. Mm. Now, do you want to interrogate that cultist? Yeah. Grab me by the chin, Paul. Adam. Uh, uh, His name is hey, well, what do you know? Uh, uh, well, well, um, I learned that uh, 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 a strawberry actually isn't a berry. Thanks. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move this occultist. Oh, did you kill this yeah. one? Oh yeah, that one's straight dead. I'm gonna put this occultist mm. in also the basement landing, and then I'm going to move myself to go fuck it up. I lost my voice. Then I'm gonna go move myself to go fuck it up with my friends. One, two, three. Now I'm going to kill it. You know, roll your four might against the occultist three. So that's three. Three. The occultist. Three. Three. So, what a match. All right, so here's my situation. The fact that you're trying to get down there and beat it makes me think that maybe you're not the devil. So I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to move this one, two, so that you can beat the hell out of it, because I know you're strong. I'm not strong. I'm an old man of 30. I'm going to add a second one of these here because I know you're strong and that's okay. So I don't have quite the knowledge I'm going to need. You know what? I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you, kiddo. Because I don't have a whole lot of might. And if I take any damage, I'm straight fucked. But I want to I don't do need it. your help. Help her. Live for yourself. Don't worry about me. I've been fine living on the streets <laughs> of London. <laughs> I actually am. Hold on. Everybody, I got this. As a strong Christian man, I'm going to talk to this cultist and say, I invoke the power of the Lord, and I hope you can see the light. Okay, so that's gonna be three. Someone else wanna roll these three die? I'll roll for the coaches. <gasps> There's a two, so I'm gonna say, listen, as a strong Christian man, I'm gonna take the route that Jesus would. So I light him on fire and send him to hell. And so I'm gonna lose one sanity and gain my knowledge. Bubby. Are you two married? No. no. It's your turn, Buster. Buster gets to place one. But move one person, please. <laughs> about that. Here. Okay, uh, move two. I'll move two. Ah, uh, there. Boom. That's and now you place one. There you go. Beep. All right, so now what'd you like to do on your turn, Dorothy? Let's bloody this fucking Chris. All right, so you're going to make a sanity roll for us here. You got a four sanity. Why don't we go and make a four sanity? Correct. All right, so you get to loot. You lose one sanity in mind, but we get to place a room token on your child. But it's a really good thing that you did, because we can't without you. Dorothy, I never steered you wrong before. I'll never do it again. You're right, Bubby. One, two, and a fight. Yeah. <sighs> can't wait to sing, right, Bubby? Yeah. You promise. I promise, when you turn 28, you got this. Wow, that's, a, that's a lot of, that's a and lot of And now the occultist is gonna roll. Hope they don't get a six. Well, fuck my bones, it's a five. <gasps> five to five! A square up trial! <laughs> I'm done! Thank you. You know what? I would love some shit, actually. Uh, Blue bedroom. Mishappen figure. A mishappen. misshapen. <laughs> misshapen Reach. figure leaps towards you, grabs at your throat, and wraps you up in its long arms. Hot. Make a might or speed roll. Whoa! Damn, you struggle free. F you get out of my life. All right. I'm feeling really confident. 
Maybe I'll get them all and I'll beat them. Okay, so I'm gonna move this monster. One, two, and place this one here. Yeah. And why would in why would you do that? Why would I do that? Because none of you bought my flowers. Because <gasps> I'm the traitor. Ah! So here's the go. So you gotta invoke. You reveal your number token. Show us your number token. The receipts. I'll show you the receipts, <laughs> Daddy Warbucks. Oh. It's sideways. So what this also means is that now that the traitor has been revealed, they take control of all the cultists. So there's your large monster. All right, now it's been revealed. None of you bought more flowers. And now we're not going to. Because they smelled like trash. They smelled really bad. Trash. Yeah, no, yeah. That's, it's because of me. Well, it's because I piss in my pants. Regardless, they, wait, wait. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the toilet. It was ragweed. <laughs> I'm gonna take one of my small monsters and go up to Buster. All right, my turn is still going. So I'm gonna take this road here. One, two, three. And I'm gonna hang out over there in the vault. Is that done? My turn's done. I've got an idea, all right? You guys remember this whole vault situation? Yeah. So I'm gonna walk over, I'm gonna go one, I'm gonna go two, and I'm gonna study in this vault. And so I'm gonna roll four for my knowledge dice and see if I can get a six plus and get two items. Yeah. Well, he does that, I look him in his eyes. Doesn't matter, six items. All right, six things. I get one basement item. All right, so I got a cask, which can, uh, I can, I can, let me, shut the f up. <laughs> <laughs> one second. Um, all right, so I can drink from this cask, which is really nice. Um, Flask? Cask. Got it. Oh. The odds of that. Yeah, there you go. Bubby. You des he deserves it. Bubby. I, He's I've about to a kill a little day. girl. So this cask, I'm gonna use my will to do to immediately bury it and gain two in any uh situation here. So I'm gonna get my knowledge up to five because that's using your noodle. Then I'm gonna also bury this uh no, I'm gonna chime these bronze bells to gain one sanity, boom, up to eight, very soon. And I get to move everyone one tile, ignoring obstacles, and then bury this card. So I am going to move uh, this one over here. I'm gonna move this one over here. Oh, you're doing I'm gonna this to move save your friend. This one over here, this one over here, this one over here. I'm gonna scoot you past all these obstacles right here. And then, um, look, can I, can I move her off into hell? Uh, yeah. A little girl that called Puddles. Look at me in the eye when you do it, Daddy! <laughs> Don't call me Dad. So now I have a bunch of knowledge. That was one, two. Uh, you count as an obstacle, so I'm gonna go back down here. Let's go, Buster. That's, that's an eight, so it doesn't close the portal, but good try. That was really close. Was first yeah. Here. That was really good of you. Good going. Sweet. Buster, my turn. I'm going to use the Chris of Summoning to start. Get, All right. I'm going to make a sanity roll with the Chris of Summoning. Hey! That one doesn't count. With the Chris of Summoning. You want to use the helm? I'll use the helm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, also, uh, which, which area do you want to complete? Mountains. Turn to entry 155 in the Bleak Journal. We'll see what happens. The wolf keeps arising. The Godar cannot kill him, for he has already eluded death. Ooh, his helm keeps him alive. The normal methods to kill his kind do not work. Nothing of our world can kill him. Hell will not take him from our world, so we must find a way to take him to hell. Hmm. We are preparing our ships to cross the Great Sea to find a branch of Yigashadrazo. Igrasil. 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 You, know, you got it. Gain for knowledge. Oh, shit. Other players <laughs> may read this entry again at any time, but do not gain the trait bonus. Damn. Suck so my dabadoo doop ba da ba. 
We need to get that girl upstairs. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to use the Chris first? Get me first? upstairs, please. Finally. She already used the Chris. I didn't use the Chris. Oh! So we're nice. re-rolling so now. So now I get to re-roll my try, sanity. Try your three again. I'm so excited. Roll, I can't. Roll three. Oh! Baby. Bap! All right. Hey. All right, so. Oh. Uh, place the Chris as far as you can on any tile within line of sight. Gain one sanity. So you do gain one sanity. Chris would be in any of these directions line of sight. Let's go ahead and say it goes over here. Yeah, great, perfect. So I still get to go though. My speed is four, so here I go. Bop, 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 bop. Don't touch I'm me. I'm sorry. One, and I'm gonna take my crease with me. Chris, crease, cry. One, two, three. Okay, great. Uh, crawl space, which has an event mm. and a secret passage. <gasps> but it's foggy. Uh, minus one die when you're rolling on here. So, uh, we got an event, base wind event. We got Let the chasm go. here. <gasps> and you can explore the other worlds if you feel you like it. You can explore the other worlds from this tile. Uh, do you want to continue forward one more space? Of course I do. All right. I'm a progressive woman. We got the operating theater. So you can either operate, uh, by making a knowledge roll, which will be very beneficial to you, and you get an item. I want to operate. Great. So then, uh, go ahead and make a roll of seven. Wow, wow, wee woo. Okay. Okay. Oops, whoa. Uh, one, two, one, two three, three, four, five, seven. six, seven. So you get to heal all your traits back to normal. It's Shut up! Yep, that's the operate. Us flapper dancers are very healthy. Just our feet are broken. And you get a basement item, which is this. <gasps> hey, it's the thing I married. I knew I married it. You have some rough handwriting, I'm not gonna lie, Bubby. I have no idea what this says. Normal American cultist robes. Can you read what that says? Exactly, see he doesn't know either. Normal American cultist robes, sacred. The pocket contains small bones, okay? If you would take physical damage, you may take general damage instead. Here we go. Come on, Adam. One, two, I'm gonna f that up. All right. Give me your best shot, Get up, bitch. Four. <laughs> that was Everything crazy. Take so long. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. I'm rolling. Oh, now you really roll three. No, you're rolling these three. Cursed. Look me on the eye when you do it, Adam! <laughs> Four. F*** it up. So we, you called us dead? Yeah. Yep. And now I you can interrogate? interrogate it. Yeah. You want to? Great. Yeah. Perfect. What, what do I do? Grab him so by the lose, chin! Lose, lose one sanity, yep. gain knowledge. Do you want to want to go try to make that portal One, roll? two, three, four. Yeah, let's go. All right. Boom. Make that portal roll and max one, it out, baby. One, two, three, four, five. Portal roll, portal roll. There's no ghosts on that tile, is When there? I go to the bakery, nope. I order a portal roll. <laughs> okay. Do you want, do you want to? Consult the hell. Consult the hell. We like so you, church. Do you want, we, we like, like church. church. Which one? Oh. Um, let's see. Am I going with crosshatch, bird, let's bring it back home to the D. Oh, uh, classic. All right, Whitmore so family. now we get to have you read entry 56 in the Bleak Journal, please. Gain four sanity. Shut the f up. Hell yeah. <laughs> the stones have been laid above the world tree. The Godar marked them in the runes, warning them all to leave, lest he awaken. A few of us still believe in him. Me and my wife and I bled into a chalice. She drank from it and then we buried it. Okay. Wow. Sounds like a good time. Plus four sanity for you, and you get to reroll your knowledge for the portal. <laughs> One, right, two, three, four. But. That was huge, because now I can just go up At least you like church. I'm gonna run! <laughs> <laughs> I have no knowledge and no sanity! I'm gonna run! Flowers! Flowers! flowers. Yeah. One! Two! Oh. Three! Except four! Die. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, yep. and then I'm there. One, two, sure. and then this yep. one. Yep. One! Jesus Christ! Two. Amanda got to do this for literally 20 minutes. And that pissed me off too! I don't know who that is. My name is Dorothy. All right, I'm done. Get ready to look out, bitch. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna stay right there, all right? Great, cool, done, easy, sick. It's pretty book. Is he gonna say something? Nine. <laughs> He's guessing. He's rolling to close the portal. Let him cook. Close it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not ten! Ten! Plus three! 
Hey, that's a perfect room meeting. The club portal's closed. Give me that. Give me. Give me. No. Use your voice. What happens if you win? Use your voice. Use your voice. One fifty one in the Blake Journal. My voice, I can speak finally. Wow. Uh, green light and terrible sounds dwindle until the portal closes. This room is forever changed, and for the rest of your lives, impossible things skirt the edges of your vision. You held off his return for now. It is something, but not enough. You must do more. Without a plan, you will allow him to escape, and then he will devour the world. After the portal clo was closed, there was silence so grim and absolute that it swallowed one sanity whole. The portal was closed, but not before restless spirits seeped through. The forbidden words closed the portal, but their harsh sounds reverberated through the building, echoing, demanding attention. The asylum is in shambles. When authorities arrive, arrests are made, and patients are relocated. The building lies abandoned through a financial crash, a depression, and the Second Great War. Upon returning from the war, a couple purchases the dilapidated structure with the hopes of opening an inn. <gasps> it's no longer an asylum. It's now an inn. Do they do dancing? No. Okay. <laughs> they also once again established that we're all mental patients. But I never died! Yeah, I should have killed oh, you. you're dead. Oh. So that's it! You're dead. We, for the first time in a long time, the heroes win! But, but, but this little one is dead, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and assume that off camera I hold her head under the water till the bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before these people shit. come f me up, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Make sure to catch more episodes and wait till the next episode when we are in 1947. I brush my teeth. Hey, welcome back to another day of Board AF Legacy. It's almost the 50s, so we're planning like it's the 50s. Before we get into the introductions here, we're gonna have to consult the helm to see who's gonna get you into this game real quick. Let me pull a rune from the little runestone bag. It's the little V for Vendita. Now I'm gonna roll the die. And that's a one, so that's gonna be the, uh, the Poppy. Poppy! Family. Poppy family, tell us all about what's going on today. Chapter 11, December 1947. Every morning at 3.45, the radio turns on, even if unplugged. Through the static, a young girl's voice whispers, The spare, the wolf is nothing of the known world. Help me. She sounds so lost. Surely you must do something. That's why you're here on the grounds of this rundown inn. He is coming soon, and you're the only ones who have a chance to stop him. You came to swear an oath to do just that, or to die trying. Put the orderly, the nurse, and the monkey into the tomb. Replace them with their new three inhabitants. The person reading this card goes first. Oh, me. Uh, hello, I'm Beck Poppy. Um, I... I'm here at the inn uh, uh, against my wishes. <laughs> my house is being fumigated and I have nowhere to go. I don't like going to places I've not ever been to or never cleaned. Um, <laughs> so good to see you all. I'm just going to explore and maybe get some fresh air because I'm a little, I'm already smelling the dust. Here we go. Oh, also I should say I'm an investigator. I'm 26 years old and I'm Beck Poppy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go through one. Search, make a knowledge roll. Ignore the, okay, make a knowledge roll. Gonna roll three. One, two, three, three, two, one. Two. Anything plus five is this, but nothing, so I'm good. So off I go outside. All right. Hi, I'm in the caves. <laughs> deep breaths, Beck, deep breaths. Okay, make a speed roll. Okay, speed, my speed, Beck, your speed is four. Okay, four, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, two, um, you get stuck. Lose one speed and all remaining moves. <laughs> hey, anybody? Outside? Oh no. So not only do you lose one speed, but you get in the vent. Yeah, revenge from below. <laughs> not only am I stuck, but there's revenge below me. <laughs> Something from hell is straining to break free. You feel a warm breath on your back. Wow. Hey, hey. You turn, but nothing is there. You're cold, a cold hand grabs your ankle. Ah! You hear a distant whisper, revenge. <laughs> That's so scary. Make a mic roll. Okay, my mic is four. Four, three, two, one, four, one, two, three. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have a four, one, five. Uh, plus five, you shout, you shout out, return! And the bony hand disappears. Gain one sanity. 
<laughs> hey everybody, my name is Butch Boodles. Uh, my dad was America Boodles, a uh, very honest businessman. Uh, I'm in town at this in here because I know I got to rumble with a bunch of Protestants in the morning, but I need a little bit of a rest first. So I'm going to come on over here. You guys are all welcome to join my gang, by the way. And this is not the first time I've been surrounded by this many things. I'm not a dame. And I'm a war veteran because I seen my fair share of rumbles around town. All right, so I'm gonna move. I got f one, but I gotta see if I can scoot past that large obstacle. I got four knowledge because I got street smarts, huh? And that's a roll of five plus, so this large obstacle doesn't even phase me. Uh, but I'm gonna walk through and, whoa, what's that I see? Some kind of pretty lady. <laughs> the innkeeper. First time you meet the innkeeper, turn to entry 202 in the bleak journal. Welcome to our humble inn. Still have a lot of work to do, but we're happy to have guests. Make yourself at home, but please don't go into the basement. It's not safe. Now, if there's nothing else you need, I could need to get back to my pie. I imagine her bouncing her hair like this. Give the innkeeper a name. Write it on a card. What's her name? Her name is, uh, Saucy Beth. All right, so she's just going to be around. So that's one, two, three, and then I'm going to find myself in the entrance hall. All right, not a bad place you got here. You go ahead, miss. My name's Carolyn. I am a perfect housewife. My husband, Bob, works at an ad agency, and while he does that, I spend all day vacuuming, cleaning, doing the dishes, cooking, but I found out that absolute rancid piece of is up in the city with his secretary, and I, I heard from Patricia that some shady shit is going on, and I think he's cheating on me once again. So I'm on my way up there to beat the shit out of him, and mostly just him. I'll, you know what, I understand. But I had to stop here for the night, because I'm tired, I've had two bottles of wine, and I, I can't go any further. I, uh, I'm a scholar, because while, while Bob is at the ad agency, I spend all day watching Howdy Doody, The Three Stooges, I read Rita's Digest, Good Housekeeping, The Hobbit. Come inside. Okay, I'll go in here. Oh, a large obstacle, ain't that my luck. Oh, I do a knowledge roll. Well, good thing I have five knowledge from watching The Three Stooges. Right. Uh, that would be five. a five. Yeah. I'm good. I'll go over to here. Oh, the hungry porcelain doll. <gasps> On your turn, the porcelain doll counts as a ghost on your tile. Oh, ghosts. Well, speaking of which, also, <laughs> Do you have any? You know what I hear is there's some kind of man in the arboreum. You want to introduce us to him? Mr. Oh, <laughs> hey! What? And he he looks at me. He goes, Oh, I'm the innkeeper's husband. Oh uh, damn, she's married. Missing parts of his ear and a few fingers. The missus made a meat pie. Please try it, please. What is what's in the meat pie? Uh, uh, Human remains. It. Give the innkeeper's husband a name. Write it on this card. Ed Sullivan. Jesus Christ. What? Have you watched the Ed Sullivan show? Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna talk to this guy. Right. I'm not gonna talk to Ed Sullivan. You know, they say never meet your heroes. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I love meeting all my fans. Your fans being for what? Who are you? Hello there. How we doing? My name is Babe Ruth O'Brien, and I adopted that sweet Dorothy at the tea room. I saw her dance and I said, you need a father. And so I adopted her. And we're staying at this inn because I wanted to go on vacation. Because I have three years left to live. I, I have broke cancer. cancer. That's why I lost so much weight. I'm also a hunter, just like my adopted daughter. Hunter. Hit it before it hits me. Right? Oh, you hunt what? baseballs. That's right. Want me to see me pop a dinger? Pop. Okay. Let's go. Fucking move me, all right? Speed of four. Wait One. Set. Fucking do it. Do it. You to see the large you do the, you Wait, do the I don't want to fucking go that way. Put it there. Hey. All right, I got my knowledge roll. Is that four? <laughs> this is going to be a good Here one. we go. One, oh, two, fine. three, six, four, four, five, six. I'm fine. Here we go. I'm gonna move. Who's this bitch? That's that's Holy saucy. Sh and then you gotta talk to her. I don't want to talk to any woman. I just want to play ball. Then you gotta go somewhere else. Well, then go this way. I'm crawling. I crawled my way to fucking home plate. I crawled when the Red Sox left. Dropped me. I left them. What do I do? <laughs> I make a speed roll, thank you, lady. Oh. You seem nice. Everybody shut the f up. Here we go. Oh, that's two. a two. 
What the f is that mean? Get out of here. You lose one speed and you lose all moves. What the f you guys show oh. love crawling into that hole and getting f***ed up. F <laughs> off! Please. Am I done? Yes. Yes, you're quite finished. Uh oh. Whoa. <gasps> Who's it? Wait, wait. I'm Aurora Whitmore, but my friends call me Mama. And people who aren't my friends also call me Mama. I run the jazz club, The Strong Seed, with my brother Adam Whitmore. I'm getting away from the city for a little while. Running a business is hard. Speed of four, one, die, please. Oh, that, that's aggressive. Whoa. I said, please. You told me to die. One, two, three, four, five. Great. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I should have done that. Hey. Oh, hello, Miss, uh, Miss, uh... Aurora. But my friends call me Mama. And people who aren't my friends also <laughs> call me Mama. You know what? I think I'm gonna call you Mama. <laughs> good, uh, good choice. <laughs> Action. Meanwhile, in this cave, I'm like, oh, oh, please put the bat down, sir. Please put the bat oh, down. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt you. I just don't wanna chat with oh, you. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, gonna make a knowledge roll. Mm -hmm. Three, one, two, three, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I hit the large obstacle. All right, which means that takes two of your spaces, so uh... So I'm done. All right, uh, I'm gonna use my four speed to uh, walk on up the stairs <laughs> with these strong young legs I got. Try not to be too impressed, miss. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then four. What's, what do we got going on in the upper floor here? Hey, we got the operating theater. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna pull one of these items here. It's pretty lucky, huh? Hey, we got Maz Flintlock pistol, some kind of gun for my rumble. Uh, I'm able to attack anybody uh, on my tile or an adjacent tile and I get an additional die when I use that. It's pretty cool. Uh, you're done, ma'am. All right, you know, I need to start making my way to this house. I got confused for a second. Knowledge roll time. Two. Okay, wow. I'm fine. Okay. Two, three. Four. Oh, hi. Oh, if it isn't Zelda Fitzgerald. Whew. You always talk that loud. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Your turn, Yankee Doodle. One. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Did you have fun in that cave? No, it wasn't very fun. <laughs> oh, you're back next to me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just don't wanna have chit chat. Just don't touch me. I would never. Don't touch me. Don't ask me to sign anything. Damn it, he's still in here. Fuck. I'm stuck. My turn. <coughs> I'm gonna explore this house. I'm a little famished, so I hope I find the kitchen. One, two. Talk. A spirit in the well wants an offering. Bury an item to gain two sanity. This is the well house. Oh, okay. So you get an item. Mm. Book of, big old book of scripture, <laughs> sacred. A few pages are ripped out, odd. While you carry the book of scripture, gain one knowledge and one sanity. But also, it looks like there's someone in the well house with you. We got ourselves an inhabitant. Ooh, a rat. Oh, thank God it's not a cat. You had no idea they could grow that large. The first time you meet the rat, turn to entry 69 in the Bleak Journal. That's hilarious. Ew. How did the innkeepers not notice this thing? It's the size of a mastiff. The rat <laughs> is best not named. Ew. Out I go, away from big man. <laughs> uh, speed of three, one, um, two, three, in the entrance hall. Hi. Hi, how's it going? It's fine. Don't touch me! Okay. Good, I feel less alone. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right, I'm gonna keep exploring up here. Upstairs is pretty cool. Gives me status, makes me feel big. Hey, I found an unfinished room or something. Looks like they never finished this room. Time for me to draw this item here. Ooh, I got Beetle's Boner Spoon? <laughs> What's that say? Uh, yes, Beetle's Boner Spoon. <laughs> All right, so I can eat on a tile with a corpse to bury this card and heal one trait. All right, so I look at you and I go, okay, I'm not gonna touch you, and I kind of stumble into a door and then I open it. <laughs> Thank you for telling us. I'm just telling you how I move. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, good, a small obstacle. Uh -oh. Ugh. Stacked furniture, make a might roll. Uh, my might is three, so I'm probably gonna get really fed up here. But look, I deal with furniture all day. Okay. <laughs> so that's a four, so I subtract two, so that's two. 
Uh, take one physical damage. All right. Okay, thank you so much. That was a joy. All right, I got a speed of three, which sucks. Here we go. One, two, three. Hi. Again. Hi. All right, that's it. I'm just hanging out. Okay. Ready. One. Oh, we got a ground floor for you, miss. Some kind of ballroom for dancing. Mm. We like church. There's nothing there. Here. So you get to keep going, lucky I'm gonna you. do a little dance. Go, oh, show us. Okay, wow. here I go. No, I didn't like that at all. The good news is you get this event, which is usually good. Unfinished painting. An unfinished painting of a girl at a feast. The table is set with an assortment of strange meats. The girl seems horrified to be here. You pick up a brush to work on it. Make a knowledge roll. Let him cook. Five. Not too bad. You may have talent. I'm a painter. All right. Okay. I'm gonna leave this man for a third time. <laughs> gonna go through um, one. I'm gonna stop in here and say, hey, other lady. Hi. I, I, Be careful of the armchair. I, okay. Um, I just want to say, if you ever need anything, I would love to build an alliance. There's a lot of gross men in here, and I feel like I trust you. Wow, that's that's very kind of you, considering you just watched me lose a fight to a chair. So, yeah. <laughs> One, and then I'll go two. All right, uh, we got a ground floor for you, miss. The chapel. Invoke. Make a sanity roll. Here we go. Uh, my sanity is three. Three, two, one. One, two, three. One. Okay, gain one sanity. Oh, hey. thank God. I'm going to take an event. A trophy case. Animal heads on the walls. Why are the mouths moving? But those are trophies. Make a sanity roll. Subtract one from the results for each ghost on your tile. No ghosts on my tile. Here I go. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Bam. Five. Ah, wind in the walls. That's all. Gain one knowledge. Beck is getting comfortable. I made the right alliance. All right, uh, I'm enjoying this upstairs area. They may not have finished this room, but I got some ideas. Yeah. Little wallpaper do it wonders. I'm gonna walk over here and uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a library. You know, I may not look it, but I got some book smarts as well. So I can study to make a knowledge roll. Let me roll here. I hope I roll low, actually. Uh, I got a four. So I learn nothing and I lose all moves. But also by being in this room, I do get myself an omen. And I got the hand mirror of vengeance, which allows me to study. And I can steal items from people. I can do all sorts of different things and look at this stack and change it around. All that good stuff. But I'm going to hold on to it. I got plenty of items right now. Anywho, so that's it on my turn. Miss... All right, I dust myself off from that fucking armchair. And then I move on to this next room. Master bedroom, uh-oh, sexy. And a omen. Chris of summoning. I wonder if this has been used before. Attack, might, target anyone on your tile, roll one additional die for each ghost on your tile. All right, here we go. Let the haunt begin. What does that mean? What's what does that, that mean? Three? Three. It was three, it was fine. Uh, Why are you guys saying that? I thought we were I don't friends. know, I kind of felt it. The Pinot just took over. <laughs> Is it my fucking turn already? Yes. Here we go. All right, let's explore this fucking home. I'll be staying away from you, you piece of shit. All right, one. We got yourselves the dining room over here, and you get a food. Oh, I get a food, and, and I got a- I, I mean, you get a, I, you get an item. I oh, this feels familiar. Blood letting phlegm. Your mind grows sharp, but your body pales as the toxins dribble out of you. The fuck? This is my death coming up, I can feel it. Take two physical damage to gain one knowledge and one sanity. If you choose. No. Uh, but do you want to make it your family heirloom? Yeah. All right. And I can name it, right? Yeah, if you make it your family heirloom. Babes. So, I want to talk to this bitch. How do I do it? You roll two dice and you can teleport to any landing or space with her face on it. So it's here, 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 upper landing, basement landing. It's two okay. dice and it's there's a lot at stake there. So you one. roll the one. Uh, she took something. You bury an item you're carrying or take three <laughs> mental damage. <laughs> All right, well, you this get, is why well, I don't, don't talk, talk to, to women. women. I knew it. I'm gonna bury this fucking bitch. All right, but you do still get to teleport. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Oh. oh! I'm going up here. All right. I don't know what you're talking about. Women give, give, and give. I'm not saying. One. Ooh, we got the collapsed room, which is, uh, also the, also the animal. There are rats <laughs> everywhere. This place. It's following you. It's infested. So take one die of... I... Oh! Lucky devil. I f that rat up. <laughs> so glad you set up. So when you first discover it, you fall through, and anybody else who wants to walk through can decide to jump down. So you take two physical damage, miss. Thanks. I'll take it from my speed. <laughs> All right. Because my speed is still four. One, leaving the chapel. 
Oh, we got a ground floor for you, miss. Kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. Okay, I'm a little hungry now that Beck is getting comfortable. So I am going to make a mite roll. Hopefully this food is good and not bad. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, five. Okay, you weren't hungry at all. Lose all moves. Huh? Do I ever get this bird? Omen, crucifix of banishing. Sacred, cruelty made but sharp. You could tell it has killed before. Attack, target anyone on your tile. Roll one additional die. I'll keep this for later. Amazing. So now that we got four Romans, can you roll those four dice, miss? A hot roll. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Oh, thank goodness. No what? haunting wow. yet. No haunt. All right. I'm going to continue exploring this here upstairs area because I like feeling big and tall. We got the pentagram chamber. Yeah, I got, I know all sorts of geometry. So invoke, I got to make a knowledge roll. We got a one, two, three, four. So far as place your figure on any discovered tile and then lose one knowledge. So I'm going to do that. But first, I do get an item from being in this here room. Hey, I got Bolto, like the, like the dog movie, the crossbow. It's my family heirloom. I can smell my great, 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 great grandfather on it. I'm going to put it on, and I do have to lose the knowledge. I'm going to go, woo, and do a little cool little backflip. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna lose my one knowledge and then, uh, miss, uh, without being too presumptuous, it is indeed your turn. All right, I'll keep moving around here. Over here. Mm, ground floor for you, miss. Winter bedroom. So first is, uh, there's an animal in this room with you. So one die. Yep. Uh, one damage. Can I consult the helm? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure right now for that? Yeah, because I'm probably gonna gain some good <laughs> Uh, that's been my plan. All right, I'm gonna get some head. <laughs> Nice. I'll put the helm on the titty. All right. So <laughs> might as well. So before you make your re-roll, we got to turn to entry 160 in the Bleak Journal. Which 160, 61. Betrayal. I am chained and tired. I am in hell. I burn. I burn from the chains. I burn from hatred. Uh, you know, my own uh, clan has betrayed their rightful <laughs> jarl. <period. laughs> but I will not go into darkness. There is nothing for me. I will rise again for now. I I'm so bored. And I love reading. Gain four speed. Other players may read this entry again at any time, but do not gain the trait bonus. Right, right, All right. All right, so I gained four speed. All right. It's not what I wanted, but here okay. we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, I did more. Okay, well, I take two speed from that. So here's an event for you, miss. All right. Curio cabinet. I am tired of this furniture. Uh, uh, the armoire in the corner has a flickering light in it. You reach past the coats to find the source of the glow, but can't feel the back. So I'm rolling one die. All right, that's a one. I... <laughs> uh, you lose one sanity. This house is beating the shit out of me. All right, I'm losing my mind. It's and okay. it's it's not the Pinot. <laughs> oh, I think it is. It's definitely oh, I is. Think Guys, it's open. not the wine. I, I think, think it's, it is. I think it's, it's the, the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's this what house say. is moving around. You're okay. You're okay. I'm, okay. I'm gonna die. You're I'm probably dying. the only women that I like. It's not your fault. You're I got okay. news for you, honey. I need more wine. We're all gonna die. I nearly broke my hand just touching your shoulder. Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. One. All right, we got an upper floor staircase for you, sir. We got uh, the gallery. If the ballroom has been discovered, place your figure on that tile and take one die of physical damage. It sure has. I know. One die of physical damage. Here we go. Nothing. Bitch. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad you guys aren't getting hurt. All right, an offering. The meatloaf is still warm. Oh. It smells delicious. It's probably delicious. I didn't even cook it. If you choose to eat the meatloaf, take three mental damage to gain two don't in physical traits. I'm not hungry. I don't like meatloaf. They said don't go down in the basement. I know what they said, but I, I, the, the thing about jazz is you never know what's gonna happen next. Oh boy. It's true. It's a nursery. nursery. Uh, so you got an omen you gotta draw, but also you could teleport oh, you anywhere go. with that lady. Oh. So uh, first of all, let's get you that omen. Okay. Apothecary kit of mercy. You keep your tinctures, elixirs, potions, and poisons here. You grab a vial from inside the kit, and now I can teleport if I want. If you want to talk to that lady, yeah, but she could steal some stuff from you, I don't know. Let's go for it, I'm talking. All right, I want to get to out of the basement. All right, so you gotta roll those two dice. Oh, you got a four, so it's a pleasant walk. She seems nice, you can teleport anywhere with a landing. Hey, or a face saucy on. Beth, thank you for all that. I'm teleporting. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, Back boop, to the front boop. steps. Saucy Beth goes, bye. A hot roll, one, two, three, four, five. That's a lot of die. Damn it. Everything keeps falling. Hold on, before you do that, you gotta get One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> that's a hot roll, which means Hogman Yings. Uh-oh, ghost. Uh-oh, that's uh -oh, what I- Uh-oh, ghost. 
Uh oh, <laughs> ghost. Hello? Uh oh. Is that one in the bottle? Or is she uh -oh, the bottle? Oh no, ghost. Oh no. <laughs> All right, this is for you. 1947. Oh no. The radio. Turn to entry 52 in the bleak journey. I prefer the television. Yeah, me too. Dilapidated though it was, the inn was perfect. Its boarded off basement gave the innkeeper a secret place to conduct her research away from prying eyes. But one who is trapped in the house saw these horrifying experiments and knew it was the wolf who caused this madness. More words fade into focus on the backs of photographs. You must promise to stay strong. Please promise to stop him. The Second Great War showed the dangers of splitting an atom. A brilliant woman, consumed by the idea of a serum to cure radiation poisoning, bought an inn where she could perform an unorthodox experiments in the basement. She tested her serum on guests and has made a great progress. But all progress comes with side effects. The Haunt Revealer should draw the next card in the Legacy deck, the radio, and give it its true name, the Radio of Mutation. Oh. Yeah, I get it. Prednisone gives me a tummy ache. You're listening to 102.7 Radio of Mutation. Mutation. Consult the helm. Whoever is judged loses two sanity. You're gonna wanna draw yourself a rune here? If I die here, I hate this little it's the house. Okay. It's, it's not the titty. It's not that I've had no. three bottles of oh, pee. No. <laughs> You've already three. had a third? All right, so now you gotta roll a die to see which one of these is judged. Who's on the room? It's either the Whitmores, the O'Briens, or the... One. Uh-oh, that is the O'Briens. You lose two sanity. F*** you. Each... <laughs> yeah, you lose two sanity. Each Sucks. other player on the branch loses one sanity. So you lose one sanity, and you lose one sanity. F*** you. Okay, so I have uh, as little amount of sanity as I can possibly have. Stop drinking wine! <laughs> no, it's not the wine. The traitor in this haunt is unknown to anyone, even the traitor. Oh. oh, that's confusing! Isn't that just the way of it? That makes sense. All players should turn to haunt three, malignant in the secrets of the survival. I never saw the first malignant, is it good? All right, so this haunt is called the Curse of the Mummy's Curse. I'm just f***ing with you. Basically, there's a bunch of radiation in this house here due to some Marie Curie kind of experiments that went on in the basement. Enough to turn one of us into a mutant. Problem is, we don't know which one of us is the mutant. So we're all gonna decide to fight each other in order to stop this radiation mutation from getting out of this inn because we don't want it spread into the nation. So uh, when one of us dies, we flip over this tile to see if we were the traitor. Number one is the traitor, but we won't know. The traitor wins if three of the heroes are dead. The heroes win when the traitor dies. So basically, it's a battle royale. Sorry, everybody. It was nice knowing you. Uh, Miss Mama? Miss Mama? Here I go. One, two, three. All right, another uh, ground floor situation here. We got you the no the armory. So here's oh. good news. There's the two rat. parts of this. Okay, so I'm gonna roll one of these because there's a rat in here again. I'm telling you, take off your weird rat thing. I like it. It's part of the. You know what? You're right. <laughs> it's honestly weird at this point how much it's happened. So one, one physical damage for you. Eight. Oh no, Mama. But here's the good news, Miss. Read the other part of this. When discovered, drop the top item card until you get a weapon. It's my family heirloom Baker rifle. Baker Ooh. rifle. Why do bakers need you rifles? You gotta name it. What's your name? Back. Back. This is the Beck Killer ba Baker Rifle. <laughs> Damn. Oh. What did I do wrong to you, Mama? Mm, everything. <laughs> okay, off I go. I gotta get the f out of here. Ooh, the specimen room. All right, there's an event there in the specimen room. Embers, a fireplace, warm, slightly glowing embers. You grab it nearby and it bellows back to life. Make a knowledge roll. Okay, one, two, three, three, two, one. Okay, one. From the bells oozes a foul ick. What troubles you most is how much you want to eat it. Lose one sanity. Okay. Yeah, sanity doesn't help you in fights now. Damn, anyway. Anyway. I know, but I had five and now I have three. It's okay, Beck. It's okay. There's ups and downs. All right, speaking of ups and downs, I'm going to move back up into the library and I'm going to try to study again and make a knowledge roll here. One, two, three. Oh no, I rolled a four, which I didn't want to do. So I'm going to consult the helm. Uh, therefore, I will complete this space. 
because I really want to re-roll. So I've completed the one that looks like a talon, and I've got to read entry 53 in the bleak journal. I will await the blood that will regrow my strength. It will drip down through the earth, through the different worlds, and refresh me. I will awaken. I can sense when humans walk above me. I can cloud their minds, incite them to violence, to kill. I am patient. I shall await until I'm strong enough to open and escape hell. Gain for knowledge. How's about that working out for me? So let's see, as a one, two, three, four. All right, and I get to re-roll. Goodness gracious, look at me go. So now I'm gonna roll five dice. I got so many more and that's okay. So I lose all moves. That's okay. I'm still up in this library just learning. Okay, I'm getting the f out of this house. Okay, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. All right, we got an outside tile for you, miss. Oh, thank God, finally, a fucking item. All right. <laughs> Heather Feather. Oh, good, I got a feather. <laughs> oh, good, before this fight, I get a feather. <laughs> you may bury this card to bury any Just Drawn event card without, oh, cool, great. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> that super helps. I could throw that away and we would it would not affect <laughs> anything of what's about to happen. Uh, so I guess my turn is over now. Oh, sure is. You're done? Yeah. All right. You vulnerable, vulnerable Here woman. I go. We got the common room. Um, so now you gotta do an event card, which would be... Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, too bad you, you don't have the, my feather that can throw that away. I don't need that. <laughs> Jonah's turn. Two boys are playing with a wooden top. Would you like a turn, Jonah? No, says Jonah. I want all the turns. Jonah takes the top and hits the other boy in the face. What the f*** is going on? The boy falls. Jonah keeps hitting him as they fade from view. Each player on... On a tile with at least one ghost must choose one of the following. Bury an item to gain one sanity or take two mental damage. Oh, I believe I will be burying an item because I'm on a ghost tile. Anyone else? Uh, I no. am. You are on a ghost tile, so you're going to bury an item or what? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gain one sanity. That's not an item, item, that's an omen. Shit, I knew that. You got to take two mental damage. Oh, okay. Knock it down. I am going to uh, bury this beetle silver spoon here, and I am going to gain one sanity, making me officially pretty damn sane. Here I go. Hey, Beck. Oh, what's that voice? What? What? what are you doing here? I'm going to shoot her. Can you shoot anyone in line of sight? Target anyone in line of sight is what oh. the card says, so that's what I'm going to do. You can't shoot me from all the way that's in the That's line of sight. Room. All right, so this is a big moment. You're gonna shoot Beck from a distance. <laughs> Two turntables and a oh bullet. My God. Please, I, I, oh. I'm looking in the window like, <laughs> and I'm, I'm going I'm like, like, and I'm looking at you. Help me! And I'm like, and I'm just listening. I, what? You got another bottle of wine? I can't. I can't. Where did you get that wine? I can't. I, I found no it idea. in the ground. <laughs> hey, Beck. <laughs> Yes, Mama. Oh. Okay. Three. <laughs> wow. Wow. One, two, three, three, two, one. I'm consulting the helm. All right, take this helm. Let me give you that green you sticker there. Beck, I don't know who one the f you thought you were talking to. One thing to. I've done to you. One thing. You called me a bitch. No one calls Mama a bitch. That baseball player is called everything a bitch, including the chairs. Yeah, but that baseball player's hung like a horse. <laughs> What I, I haven't what? seen it, so I'm glad. <laughs> For many years, Fenier did rule wisely as Jarl. Huh? Jarl. Jarl. A fierce warrior. He was called the wolf by many, but his days on the earth were not enough, and he worked with dark runes to live beyond his years. He became a drawer, and death was his enemy. Draugr? A drawer. Draugr. <laughs> <laughs> Gain four might. Other players may read no. his entry again, but Holy sh gain four might is what it says. No. Oh, One, good. two, a three, four. Beck oh. is getting upset. The what helm is complete, you? so no. I'm. Helm is complete. That's the a helm huge is complete. Bump. The traitor was hanged, his body buried near the tree. The men placed cold iron near it, lest he rise again as a berserk or a spirit or revenant. Okay. Hopefully, it will be enough. His wife escaped taking with her the flayed skin of the wolf, the helm, a great source of his power. This is greatly troubling. We had hoped to find a way to destroy the helm, but it was not to be. Would that we had hanged her too, Ooh. that foul witch woman. She drank human blood from the chalice, which is dark magic indeed. I fear this place will draw those who hunger for human flesh. 
At dawn, we will set out on the long voyage home. The men are uneasy, wondering if any more of us are still dedicated to him. There is much else to fear. The chalice has been defiled, so there is still a connection between our world and him. Mostly, we worry what will become of the helm. If it is given to the weak of spirit, those willing to trade honor for gain, and if they are called to worship, worship it. Every prayer made to the helm is a call to him and will create pathways for his return. I will likely be dead when that happens. That alone gives me comfort. Thank so we added things to the event deck. We added these infernal gates here to the places with runes where we can now explore other worlds, but we also have minus one all trait dies when these things are in uh, circled in. So I think when we use them to explore the other worlds, we circle in. So now try shooting Poppy again. I'm gonna reload this sh <laughs> Watch out, <clears throat> back. <Ooh>. Back. <laughs> yes! Look! Oh my god. This isn't cool! Six, seven, eight, nine. So you gotta defend with speed. Nine speed, and you get to roll three dice. You've got this, team member! Good luck! <laughs> Tell my family I'm sorry. I didn't I don't reproduce it all. <laughs> you got four. So you take five physical damage. You can actually do that. Yeah, you can. You can do that. Ha! Nice shot, idiot. You didn't kill her. <laughs> oh, sh. <laughs> nice shot! Jazz singer! How about this for a victory song? <laughs> All right, well, it's, uh, your, it's, your, teammates near it's your turn, which is nice for you, probably. Oh, great. oh no! Okay, one. Here we go. Oh, I got great news for you. It's a coal shoot. When you move onto this tile, you immediately place your figure on the basement landing, and it doesn't cost a move. Wow. A bullet in my ear. Ah! <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. All right, so uh, that whole thing happened over there. Um, I personally like that I'm stuck upstairs. I'm not trying to get in a fight with nobody. Not yet. Hey, uh, Mama, mm. you and me. Hmm. I feel like it's the two gun owners. Yeah. You can't we talk. gotta You're run this place. Separate levels of that. Hey, mama! You wanna form an alliance? Way I see it, there's two types of jazz. <laughs> there's okay. good jazz and there's bad jazz. I play the good kind. What do you play? I also <laughs> play the good kind of jazz. <laughs> I guess we're teaming None up. None of that All made right. sense. None of that made sense. All right, so I'm gonna go. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go. One, two, and let's find the buckle my shoe kind of situation. I got the parlor, which is an event for us. <laughs> a note. If your family crest is on this card, gain one knowledge and bury this card. Otherwise, read the text below to yourself, not out loud. Sorry, uh, when the last space has a crest on it, which it does, destroy this card, tell no one what was on it. So, uh, I got to read this note. Some of your ancestors did, but none of you guys get to. Okay. Look at me in the eyes. Yeah. Ew. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> okay, I, I see Beck fall through that chute. She gets shot and then falls down in the basement. And I go, don't worry, I'm coming to help you. And I run away, and I run this way. God damn it, outside. Uh, we got the musk egg. You get to draw an omen. Uh, wedding veil of demons. I've got so You've many. Got, always I've got that. I've got tons of haunted shit on me. If anyone wants it, <laughs> uh, I don't have a single thing. So yeah, I'll take it. Uh, move. Uh, where you can move your figure as many tiles as the number of ghosts on your tile when you take this action. You may ignore all obstacles and effects. So that's great because I always have a ghost on me because I always have the porcelain doll. So I basically get like an extra move all the time. That's great. Uh, does my turn end now? Because yeah, I can do that. F all right. I'm where the runes are. What the. F does this mean? You can explore the other worlds if you feel like it. Run, Ruth, run! One, two. One, three. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh God. You oh, fight? I gotta fight. This is not good. Although I actually really like you because you are a good dancer. I like you too. Okay. You ready? Mama. Oh, I'm ready. Jazz. Jazz. Ooh, that's a three. Uh oh. Not good. Against her might of 50. <laughs> <laughs> Mama's strong. Six, I believe. I like to take risks. This is Okay. Uh, so that's three versus uh, six. So you're going to take three physical damage. Okay. Things aren't working out for me over no. here. 
You're all finished. Oh my God. <laughs> Go mama, I believe in you. I've got a Beck to kill. One, yes. two, three, Five. down the chute. <laughs> Four. You're moving, you're moving. Open. Holy <laughs> sh you can down the chute, that's Five. right. Four. Okay, so Beck's in the corner going, everything's fine, you can do this. <laughs> Hey, Beck. No! <laughs> I'm just gonna hit you. Holy sh! Four, five, six, seven, eight. To that. Beck's like. I, I I don't know if Beck has to roll. For that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she she would, she could roll maximum and it would win. Count so it, Beck. Count it out. Maximum would be uh, four times <laughs> eight. Uh, <laughs> all this math. Yeah. See all that math in four, the sky. Nine. Uh, okay. Okay. Listen, I can't hear much. I don't know what side you're on because I have a bullet in one of my ears. <laughs> Okay. So okay. let's do the math real quick. <laughs> so I do the math. One, two, two, one. So there's a puddle of mist where you used to be. <laughs> a puddle <laughs> like my grandmother. Puddles popping. Aww. That was fast. Yep. That was like 20 years. <laughs> Wait, are you dead? Yes, bitch. And somehow the bullet goes through my asshole, just like my family. <laughs> my asshole goes flying out, and it hits, and it hits right here. Ping. <laughs> hey! Hey, oh, stop. We do get to see now whether or not the Poppy family was the traitor. If the Poppy family is a one, that was the traitor, and the heroes win. Ready? I'm gonna show the camera first. <gasps> what is that? I can't tell. Just... It's a four. Oh. We killed a hero! Sorry. That's fine. Wow. No. <laughs> Look, I knew who I was teaming up with. Yeah. <laughs> no, you did it. You yeah. did not I save knew. You did not I save knew her at all. all time who I was teaming up with. I That's why you gotta stay alone. I never team up with anyone who's not a hero, except my husband, Bob. He's a f***ing <laughs> asshole. All right, so uh, I think it's about time for me to make some moves. Huh? I'm gonna put my moves on somebody. So I'm gonna start going uh, one, two, three, four. All right, and that's all I can do with my moves right now. So that's where I am. Run from the back. I'm still killer. running around. I'm scared. <laughs> one, two, three, four. You're running away from everybody? You're goddamn right, she has a gun. All right. <laughs> we both have guns. Yeah, we both have guns, is it, if it helps. All right. So now you're in the carriage house, which means this dude teleports to you, and you also got an event. Great. So the nice thing is, because of this stupid fucking feather I have, uh -huh. I can roll for this event. And if it goes shitty and I don't like it, I can throw this away and I can throw away this event. Each other player on a tile with at least one ghost loses one sanity. So both of you lose sanity. Speak the chant above aloud for all players to hear without practicing. Okay. Cthulhu relay Ed Sullivan. The nonsense chant repeats itself in your mind. If you stumble or cannot finish, lose two sanity. I got it perfectly nope. right. You said Ed Sullivan, you lose two sanity. I got it. I said that's what it says on the card. That's the, it says it right there. Uh, I will, I, then I'm out. You lose two sanity. Don't you're either gonna die or you're gonna roll to not have this thing affect you. <laughs> okay, Save I'll throw this away. Save your life with this feather, okay. please. So we don't lose our sanity. Woo. All right, I'm done. All right. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, <laughs> one. Hi. Oh, babe. How are you? I'm well, babe. I guess I'm gonna try to fuck you up. Even though I actually really like you. Oh God, I'm babe. near death. I'm near death. I Don't hit me up. with that bat. I'm not. I'm You're just gonna, gonna pop a dinger. I see in his you asshole. winding up. Nice. I'm gonna I pop a dinger. Babe, don't. And a dinger's gonna get popped. Okay, so we got a four five. That's good. My gas <laughs> run. Can you turn down the music? I can't figure <laughs> no, this out. No, I need to hear it. Oh my god. Oh. oh, I hope you lose. I hate this. Oh, oh I hope you lose. Oh. Oh. oh, you lose by one. You gotta lose one might. I'm gonna win def oh sh when defending against attack, you may reroll one die for each sacred item. <gasps> Do you Bing. have sacred items? I do have a book of scripture. <gasps> oh, 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 do it for real this time. Really roll it. Don't just drop it. Really roll it. Yes! Five on five! It's a tie, baby! Do you want to dance? I'd love to. Okay. Blind flame me lines! Blind flame me lines! Mama helps mama. And I'm gonna... Huh. We still got our alliance, right? And I'm gonna... Yeah, of course. And I'm gonna shoot you. 
<laughs> shoot who? Shoot you. You you just tried to hit me with a bat. Wait, turn your radio on before you shoot him. <laughs> you wanna... Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Let's talk about this. I have a nice home. Okay. That is a One, two, six three, four, five, six. Versus speed. your, you gotta roll three. Let me change the station for babe. Ghost in the graveyard, and what do you know? There's three kinds of ghosts that I are like to eat. I want a commercial eat. for Calzones. Ah, uh, Calzones, let's clog your arteries. One, what's it called? Go back to the song. And the ghost in the graveyard. Thank you. And the <gasps> three. So you're gonna lose three damage to physical. I'm sorry. Babe, you just tried to hit me with a bat. You didn't have see, to come down to the see, basement. Let me see if I'm, I'll you be didn't okay. have to. You One. You're trying to be a damn hero for Two. nothing. <laughs> Heart attack. I didn't even shoot her. Him. Pop. Pop. He's foaming at the mouth, and it's cheese. Cheese and mustard. Velveeta. 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 All right. So that rumble is over. We got the O'Brien family, historically the strongest family. Are they the traitor? Probably. Two, they are not uh, the I'm traitor. I'm a hero. That's a first. I'm a baseball star and so, a hero, so f it off. So here's what that means. We don't know who the traitor is, but all that is required is one more death of a hero for the traitor to win. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you not the option for that. So uh, I think you got this whole basement situation. First of all, Mama, I want to say thank you. You've been working real hard. Of course. You can take a break. You can relax. Thank you. I'm I couldn't go hear anything over the ass kissing. Look, I'm probably the traitor. <laughs> I'm the bad guy once again. I'm going to go. Let, let me. Why? Now let me. Uh, trust me. Do you trust me? No. Watch. One, <laughs> two, three, four. And there's no particular reason I'm headed outside, all right? So everybody be calm. It's cool, all right? Okay. We're all okay. It's your turn. All right, I'm just ball? I'm just running around. I'm gonna keep running. I get to move uh, according to ghosts first, uh, so I can move. You figure as many ghosts you have on your tile, which I have one because I have the porcelain doll. Oh, that's true. That's so fun. I do this thing where I go like, <laughs> and I like uh, fly over here, and then I go one, two, three, four, and so. Uh, I'm gonna use my Chris. Uh, I'm gonna. I run into the house with my Chris right in front of me. And I'm just like. I'm just like. Ah! And I. Wow. I, and I get to roll extra attacks for all the ghosts on the tile. So there's one there, and I have yep. the uh, thing. So I have four might. Come on, Braun family. Do not. <laughs> do not access the power of my ancestral tree and have really bad rolls. Okay, so I had a really three. bad roll. That's a three. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, miss, I gotta be honest, I would never hit a lady, but I will hit that Chris out of your hand and hopefully it goes right in your brain. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, when defending against a might attack, which you did, I get to roll an extra die, which means I also get to roll four. Crap. So let's see if this happens. No. And it does. So that's a six damage to you, so you take three no. damage physically. No, no, no. All right. Wait. Um, oh, she'll no. be fine. One, two, three. So... You just made me a lot slower, but I'm done running. Okay. I'm done running. Oh. Look, even here, in the face of certain death, I'm certain that Bob is still the biggest villain in my life. <laughs> um, there may be a traitor in the end, but there's a bigger traitor at home. Even, even as these two people are hunting me, I am certain that Bob is the, is the biggest villain. Um, Mama looks at these dead bodies and she's like, ew, it's getting down to the wire. Yeah, but we have no way of knowing who's what. So we're basically gambling that we're killing them. Then let's gamble. Oh, you're gonna try to come up. I got to. Up, I have to. All right. So roll two dice to two talk dice. to her. Saucy Beth. Zero. So she took something. You gotta bury an item you're carrying and take three mental damage. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. No, I'll bury the book. But by burying this book, you have to lose one knowledge and one sanity. Okay. So I have to take away how many now? One knowledge and one sanity. Oh, but you okay. still do get to teleport where you wanted to go. Well, Fuck then let's yeah. all go. be here. Go. Hey, boy and girl. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> oh, God, she's in so in wasted. A... Oh, hit, hit him. <laughs> You're not she's doing so too wasted. well. I, I'm going to have to hit you. Okay, fine. Oh, hit, hit boodles. Fine. No, no, you We're know what? Alliance. You know what? Hit me. Because I'm clearly the villain here. <laughs> I'm clearly the worst. Hit me. No, Correct. hit me. No, Correct. don't don't hit wow, me. Wow, you're doing what a lot of mothers from the 50s do. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. No, no, I'm no, gonna hit don't. Boodles. Now why is that? Oh, now why is that? Why is that? Because I feel bad for homegirl. See, it's called yes. manipulation and it works girl. sometimes. <laughs> Are you sure? I feel bad. I feel bad. Are you using your mic? Oh, here we freaking go. Wait, go. what music? Uh I want uh I want a uh, big band. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. All right. So here we go. I get to roll four. Big band. So that's a one. So I have to take six physical damn. Oh fuck. You're a menace. I'm a menace. <laughs> sure. You is. broke our alliance. We all I just sure died. Did. In the midst of this bloody mayhem, I peek and see in the living room <laughs> there's a television on and Ed Sullivan's on. I'm, I'm, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Now, obviously, I know in my heart of hearts that I am the traitor. So let's just go ahead and show the camera. Oh, wait, are you? Yeah, it's one. I'm how the traitor. You, how did you know? You knew. Because I fucking know these things. That's right. I, Butch Boodles, which I don't know if I ever established that was my name. You did. Call me Triple B. What's the second? Uh, one Third. time I saw a bunch of bees and I went, bees! <sighs> and everybody remembered me for that. So that's right, I'm the traitor. You saved I'm dead. the heroes. Congratulations, heroes. And you and her are gonna walk Wait, off you to must the sunset. Survive. You know what we should do? We should take that, take all your weapons. Yeah. We're going to the city. We're gonna go see Bob. Absolutely. Let's go get him. <laughs> Let's go get We're him. We're inviting him to the strong sea. Let's Wait, go. So you guys walk in to see Bob, and you're holding a gun, and you're holding a feather. <laughs> oh no, I got rid of the feather, no. but I am haunted by so many ghosts. You can pick up. You can pick up. I have a wedding veil on, and ghosts are floating around, and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> and a bottle of wine. Bop, 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 bop. The traitor drops dead. Yet another generation of madness. You must find a way to stop this, to stop him. The radio turns on on its own accord. Again, the girl's voice. Nothing in this world can harm him. In 22 years, the stars will fall from the sky. Help me. You listen as it loops her words over and over, then walk out into the help night. Help me, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> help me, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> the refrigerator. <laughs> we shall leave this behind in case this experiment is performed again. Experiment complete. Initiate new experiment. We'll need some new subjects. We documented our predicament. At least the future visitors will have some warning. Well, that was a ride. Shot some people, danced a little, a lot of rats. Tune in next time to see the stars fall. And let us know your favorite jazz song in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> we return to Board AF Legacy. The year is 1969 and love is in the air. But murder is afoot in this house. Chapter 12, 1969, nice. late fall, midnight, a crossroads. The first meteors streak across the sky. One of you speaks. Cool, thanks for coming. Here, here, put on these foil hats. Can't have the government reading our thoughts. I built a deflector array in case we're invaded and hid some explosives around the place. You never know, right? Anyway, man, check out that action in the sky. Meteors, rocks not of any known world, right? Just like the girl in my dreams kept saying. A meteorite howls through the night and hits the ground somewhere near the inn. You feel the impact where you stand. The person reading this card goes first. Okay, will do. My name's Carolyn. I was last in this house about 30 years ago and I nearly died. But me and Mama survived and we went to New York where I sent my, my ex-husband to hell. It was a great time. Since then, I now run a cooking show on the Public Access Channel. I make meatloaf. Now, <laughs> I'm very well to do, which means if I draw an item card, I can bury it and gain two in any trait. Like my sex appeal. Uh -oh. You know, I was on my way to New York to go <laughs> film another episode of my cooking show. And I thought I'd stop at this house that tormented me 30 years ago, <laughs> just for fun. One, two, um, and I'll go over here. Oh, and I've walked into a mundane elevator. <laughs> I don't remember this being here last time. If I want to operate this, you move this tile and everything on it adjacent to, the, to an upper doorway on the upper landing, basement landing, or entrance hall. I'm going to go back into the entrance hall. This place is boring. It's a little mundane, as it says in there. It's written on the ceiling. Oh. Who goes next? Hello, my name is Sadie. I'm 19 years old. I'm very happy to be alive. I was adopted by Babe Ruth. He found me at a bus stop, and I live in a commune with my sisters, who are also angels. I didn't kill anybody. Oh, I'm also an occultist. 
I believe in that which I fear. That means I get to add one result to my trait roll if I'm on a tile with a ghost. I didn't do it. Here we go. My speed is four. I'm gonna explore the outside because I feel better in the woods. So you're in the blood fields. Oh. I'm in the blood fields and there's a lot of fog. And I got an event card. Ooh, the two-necked man. I know that person. A figure in a dark suit. Two necks lead to one head. He draws a circle on the ground in chalk, steps in and disappears. Daddy, place the portal token on this tile. This tile gets the following action. Invoke. Make a knowledge roll. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, so many curry. Whoa. <laughs> what? Five. <gasps> so that means place your figure on any discovered tile in the basement. There's only one basement card. Uh-oh. So am I done? Yes. Okay. I'm done. Salutations. My name is Pope Whitmore. Uh, you United States Secret Service. <laughs> My mother was Mama Whitmore. I worked security at her club, The Strong Sea, for a while. And then I got employed by the United States Secret Service. <laughs> I will be secure in the perimeter. <laughs> Pasture. I have found an item on the perimeter. <laughs> a, a revolver, a weapon. I will name it. Uh, 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 damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's a damn gun. Damn. Oh, man. Damn. That's you a want to gun. make it your family heirloom? Uh, it's a family heirloom. Good for you. I thought you would have a gun since your secret service. No, we don't. Uh, they don't let us. They don't let me specifically carry a gun anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm all good. Oh. Hello! 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 Oh! 249? Hey! Oh. Hello! <laughs> Oh boy, that's not gonna make it in space. You know, they really need to fund NASA more. <laughs> Hello! Hello! I am Kurt. I am 20 years old in training to be an astronaut. I'm a member of the Poppy family. I'm a medical practitioner. And I will do anything for my country. <laughs> I have a speed of four. So here I go. One large leap for the Poppy family. What? Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Take one die of mental damage if your turn's in here. And it does, because I take this card. Well, the it's OK. Kurt will always keep going. Anything for my country. Did you land on the moon yet? No, I'm in training. Jonah's game. A little boy stands in front of you. Do you know anything of fun to do? Each player on a tile with one ghost takes two general damage. No! Sorry, Sadie. That's fine. And you I'm going to take one too. die of mental. Oh, yeah, I and do. you have I to do, do too. Yeah. That's fine. You guys are all I'm protected. Hey, everyone, what's up? My name is Wheatgrass Boodles. Uh, you can call me Wheat. Uh, it's a name I chose for myself, believe it or not. I'm a seer because one time I ate the wrong kind of cookies, man. <laughs> Turns out they were scones. And then it, I was able to see a lot of things that weren't there. I get it. Yeah, see, I know you get it. Hey. Hey. That's a snail tip. I'm going to go ahead and scoot on past. Whoa, you seem like you're having a hard time. Anything for my country. Yeah, outside. All right, some kind of hanging tree. I, I should put a swing set here. And I get to draw an omen. It's nice. I knew this would happen. The hungry porcelain doll. On your turn, the porcelain doll counts as a ghost on your tile. Oh man. That's all right. I like this doll. I'm going to name it Borealis. And we're going to have little adventures. <laughs> your turn. All right, it's my turn. OK, I'm going to go over and check this room. Oh, the Arboreum. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's so cool. I love plants. So there's the inhabitants in there. Ed Sullivan. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Love him so much. I still do. Uh, now, I can eat. I can roll two dice. And if I, if I get a four, I gain one might, which would be nice. Now, if I roll a zero or one, I lose one from all traits. Uh-oh. You know what? I'm going to go for it. You know? Why not? Good for you. Eat from a man's hand in the garden. I did that once. Oh, Turns really, out uh, you get to roll only two? Three. Uh, three. Okay, so I gain one might but lose two sanity. So what do I do there? Do I just go down to... You just go down to red for sanity. Okay, that's actually, that's fine. <laughs> so I'm stronger, but I'm crazier. <laughs> but, oh that's what no. my, but that's what my friends say about me. Oh, yeah. With friends. 
Oh, now it's time. Oh, it's omen time. Okay. <laughs> Chris of summoning. Target anyone on your tile, roll one additional die for each ghost on your tile. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Is it my turn? It's your turn. Okay, girl, let's do it. I hear you from the basement somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna move one. Nice. So I'm in the nursery. God, I wish I could have a child. Okay, the innkeeper, Saucy Beth. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> She's an innkeeper. Yeah, yeah, I can show you around the place. Okay, Beth. So you can choose to use her and she would take you to any of those places if you don't want to be here anymore. But you're still gonna have Oh to no, I wanna first. be there, so. Okay. So sorry, Saucy Beth. Okay, so I also, yes, thank you, I got, got an it. omen. Wedding veil of demons. <gasps> I've been waiting. <laughs> Sacred, never worn. So okay. now it's time to make that haunt roll. We so I'm gonna make the haunt roll. Three. <laughs> okay. One. We're it's good. the loneliest number. <gasps> Wait. I agree, good God, good God, girlfriend. Cool. Okay. I've uh, secured the pasture. I will not be um, moving more into the outside. Okay. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Uh, that is classified information, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> the chapel. <laughs> <laughs> outside? There's somebody on it. Make a yeah. sanity roll. You are already at peace. Oh. <laughs> okay, two. Let's see. Gain one sanity. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'll take the uh, habit. Event. Habit. <laughs> <laughs> Beast hunted, strange alien footprints. What could have made those? Whatever it is, it has returned and it's behind you. <laughs> so good to me. <laughs> okay, make a speed roll. Four. One, two, three, four. You flee! Place your figure on an adjacent tile. Bye. Wow! What a good group of gang we got here. I'm gonna head. To <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the graveyard, go through the pond, and see the rest of the outdoors. Okay, talk. A spirit in the well wants an offering. Bury an item to gain two sanity. I don't have a, I don't have a item, so I will not do that. And the inhabitant. Oh God, a rat. Again? You had no idea that they could grow that large. When you discover a new tile with this, take one die of physical damage. Okay. One sanity. Or one physical damage. Okay. Looks like the well house has an item. Uh, Heather the feather. Sick. I can't use a feather at all. You may bury this card to bury any just drawn event card without taking its effect. I guess I'll keep this. All right, I'm gonna scoot on past uh, whatever the hell's going on in here. <laughs> Whoa. Is that marijuana on you? No. <laughs> no. You know that's against the law. Yeah, we'd never do anything against the law. You it's have a great sense of smell to smell that through your that's helmet. That's crazy. Well, to her defense, I kind of reek. <laughs> I'd love some. Hey, right, yo, yo, if you can get up here or I get down in the basement, we can make that happen. Okay. Of the thing I don't have. So, I'm in the stable, which I am not. <laughs> Lol. Ma'am? <laughs> Whoa. Bed and breakfast? Now this I gotta see. Just kidding, uh, I'm gonna draw an omen. We got the apothecary kit of mercy where I can make all sorts of tinctures and tonics. I'm not gonna use it now, but depending on the dice roll, depends on what I drink. It's gonna be pretty sick. Um, I guess that's my turn, but we do have to make a haunt roll. Four, okay, no haunt yet. We're Close, gonna... all right. This arboreum is a boring. Uh -oh. Okay, time to keep exploring. One, two, Three, I'm gonna move over and look in here. Coal shoot. When you move into this tile, immediately place your figure on the basement landing. Doing this does not cost a move. Oh, so I go to the basement. Nice. I just, I'm like, hey. oh, hey. hey. Oh. Yay. Very cool. Okay, so that was one, two, three. Okay, I get one more. One. Oh. Armory. When discovered, draw the top item card until you get a weapon. Then bury the rest of the cards and reshuffle the item deck. If there are no weapons, you get nothing. If, there, if I don't find a weapon in this armory, I'm gonna fucking lose it. I've been wanting a weapon my whole life. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all I've ever I thought you wanted. Were cooking. And there's also a little creature. Boom. Oh, flintlock pistol. Found a weapon. Good job. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. I'm well to do. I'm gonna bury it so I can gain my sanity back. <gasps> bury that thing. Get out of here. <laughs> I, I don't, you know what, I found it, but you know what, I don't need it. I thought you said that you really needed a I've weapon. always wanted it. <laughs> oh. That's all I've ever wanted, but I'm gonna throw it away. You could give it to me. No, 
I do not trust you. What? I like you, but I don't trust you. You seem absolutely batshit crazy. When? Oh, and there's a little creature. When? When you discover, uh, take one die of physical damage. Ah! Zero! He tries to come at me, and I, and I just go like this. He jumps up, and I just go. <laughs> slap him. Yeah. Slap him away. That big rat? You Get slapped him me. into my room. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, is it my turn? Yes. Yay. Okay. One. <laughs> Did you say something funny? No. Nope. Someone just said a joke. Not now. <gasps> Cask. Ooh, it contains unbridled spirits. Drink. Make a knowledge roll. Hmm. Do I don't really want to. I'm yeah. done. Let's go. We are in the crypt. <laughs> okay. In the crypt. All right. Okay, and we got an omen call. Radio of mutation. <laughs> it plays only whispers that warn you things to come. We're making a trait roll due to an event call. Roll what additional die for each goes on the top. All right, now I gotta make a heart roll. Three. <gasps> All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna follow that marijuana smell to get rid of it. Okay, here I go. <laughs> How Whoa. are you gonna get rid of it? I'm gonna get rid of it. 10, 4, 5, 9, 7, 2. <laughs> okay. A uh, puddle of blood, still warm. Smells delicious, just a sip won't hurt. Oh no. Uh -oh. Roll a dice equal to the number of checked boxes. There are, There is one checked box. And I will follow the rules because I'm a little cuck boy. <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> What's oh. that word mean? I've never heard that. It's 1969. Oh, no. <gasps> Five, four, three. He's going up into space. <laughs> One. Going up into space. What? You resist the urge. You may place your figure on an adjacent tile. Hiya. <laughs> all right. I got to go find that little alien. It's going to teach me all about family <laughs> in Hawaii. Whoa. I found myself a musk egg. I get to draw yet another omen. I'm the most cursed one here. All right, the crucifix of banishing. Nice, it allows me to do a sanity attack. That's pretty sick. Well, now we have to roll six Holy dice. Shit. Let's rock. Cool. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock, let's rock the rock. Um, oh my God, that's enough to start the haunt. Uh-oh. Mark at launch. Four, nine, seven. Market launch. Are you going up? Market launch. Are you finally going up? 1969. Nice. The meteorite. Turn to entry 188 in the Bleak Journal. <clears throat> it's very eloquent. I'm going to put my mic here so my team can hear it I know. It as I was well. just like, I got to unplug my head. What? So I can <laughs> okay. My team can hear it too. Entry 188. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is far out. I knew it. We have to check out this meteorite, the girl in my dreams. She says she knows what it's like to be dead. And she keeps saying, whoa, whoa, look at this old timey picture. Am I tripping or is that writing just like coming out of nowhere? The photographs are faded and creased. The writing's on the back, squiggling into view. The stars fell. Learn how to use it. Whoa, depending on the tile the hot revealer is on, turn to the magic entry in the bleak journal. That is 96. The tinfoil hats, they do nothing. The government is in my brain. They want to cover all this up. They're going to destroy the evidence. We have to find proof that this is all real. We have to do something. The haunt revealer should draw the top card of the legacy deck, the meteorite, and give it its true name, the incriminating meteorite. I didn't do nothing. You okay there, Pope? I'm tired. <laughs> tired from what? I the haunt's about to start. I have to be on alert at all times of the day. <laughs> do you sleep? I do not sleep. I'm always alert. I I go into a trance. <laughs> the player with the highest sanity is the traitor. I might, in fact, be the sanest one here. I'm the sanest one here. Um, The heroes and traitors should turn to Haunt 12 Roswell in their respective books. Of course it's the guy with marijuana. All right, well, listen, first of all, we call it devil lettuce or left-handed cigarettes. Thank you. Second of all, it's cool. Can I just say maybe there's no alien and maybe he's high on marijuana? <laughs> and maybe we're, we shouldn't all just listen to him right now. Oh, I like that. Do you want to be the leader? Uh, I mean, oh Auntie my gosh, I'm Carolyn. honored. Auntie Carolyn. Okay, you know what? Let's cook up some justice. Okay, let's cook. What? Yeah. Psych, turns out I was working for the government and we need to make sure no one knows this alien exists. Also, they're my best friend. I need to get that alien to gobble up and then vomit into fire three pieces of evidence. Okay, we need to get five pieces of evidence to this car and drive it away to show the world that aliens are real. 
And then I'm gonna have this alien on my cooking show and it's gonna be a huge hit. Let's go. Something feels strange. I get this sense, uh, a chef's sense, as they say. I, oh. I think there's an alien. I don't think it's a saying. Yeah. I think there's aliens around. I just get this this feeling, and I'm gonna go look oh, for shoot. evidence of aliens. One, two. Okay. Service tunnels. <laughs> uh, everyone in this tile rolls a maximum of four dice when attacking and defending against physical attacks, even monsters. Oh, and there's another item. Ooh. And there's an inhabitant. But first, let me get this item. Uh, Ray Ban spectacles. You may lose one sanity reroll re a knowledge roll. You know what? I'm gonna bury it. I'm gonna bury it. And I'm gonna get stronger. <laughs> You've buried a lot. You know, my humility is the source of my strength. <laughs> okay. Okay. I get these spectacles and I just I throw them away and now I got a little hop in my step. <laughs> This friendship is crazy. Yay! Come on, crazy. Yay! <laughs> oh, and there's a there's a person. That's oh. Saucy Beth. Saucy Beth, come on, join us. Yay! We finally have a commune. Your turn. Okay, Sadie. girlfriend, it's my turn. I finally found a friend. Hey, get out of that operating room. Yeah. You don't need a doctor. No, I don't. You're fine. I'm good. Oh God. <laughs> Catacombs. Oh no, you got the fucking rat. Oh God, a rat! Sorry, I hit it, I hit it earlier. I should've killed it. Ow, ow! You can take it, Stop. you can handle it. You had no idea they could grow that large fax. So I have to take one die of uh, physical damage when I roll. Maybe you'll do all right. Oh Oh God. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my might down. All the way. Oh no, 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 no. Speed. You don't need to run that fast. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so I have three more. Oh no. Now I you have two, two more. more. You don't. You're so awesome. You're so awesome. You're a good leader. I'm sorry about that fucking rat. Yeah, that rat sucked. <gasps> the orchid room. Yay! <laughs> I don't think that means what you think it means. <laughs> giggling! Oh, I love this card! Giggle, giggle, giggle! Oh, from the clown is right behind me. Get out of here, clown! Count the ghosts on the tile. There are zero. So he honks his horn uh -uh, and gives you something from his sleeve. I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> Draw the top item card. Bronze bells! Oh, that was my grandfather's. Cool. Chime, gain one sanity, then move everyone one tile, ignoring obstacles, then bury this card. <laughs> That's useful. Yay. <laughs> I'm gonna just use it right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna up my sanity, and then I'm gonna move everyone one tile, and then I'm gonna bury this card. So I'm gonna move Poppy right there, yep. I'm gonna put you in the stable, and then I'm gonna put you in the pasture. Back in the pasture. And then I'm gonna put you in the stable. And then, I, where do you want to go, honey? Oh, I, you can move, just move me just right there. I'm going to move you to the service tunnels. <laughs> Thank you. And then I'm going to bury this card. You know, I can relate to this because nice. people who watch my cooking show say that I move them a little. Uh, a little? I'm done. Okay, <laughs> I am currently going to, hello, I'm currently searching the pasture for a car. I have found the car, I've located the car, the automobile. <laughs> That's a big car. It's a big car, it's a Lincoln. <laughs> Triggered, triggered. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you, there was nothing you could have done. There was nothing you could have done, right, yeah. Okay. It was you gonna right, happen. You're right. you're right. One, two, discover. <laughs> Large obstacle, well that sucks. I'm in a, I'm in a hedge maze. <laughs> Give me an item. Picturing a secret service man in a hedge maze? And yeah, I, it's just <laughs> awful. I've once again made a left turn. <laughs> Hitch for it. A gun and a pitchfork, that's just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> off, off I go. One, two, three. Take one die of mental damage if you end your turn here. Whoops. But oh, wait, you got a rune. Okay, so here I am walking through the graveyard, doing some jumping jacks to keep up my conditioning. Yeah. And there I go, finding a file folder, a, f a folder of files. <laughs> I grab this folder, and it looks like there's some evidence inside. <gasps> evidence that proves something. I, I'm only good with math and physical and my physical conditioning. But what can I? What I can tell is that these words are telling me that there is aliens. This is there's lots of graphs um, proving that there are aliens. Oh my god. Ten four five nine. Kurt has found some evidence. Things are going up for Kurt. Yeah, but not up to space. Oh. All right. 
Hey everyone, it's me, your old friend Wheat, and hiding nothing here from you. But by the way, since I found this here space rock, I get a crazy mutation that I get to roll one die for every ghost on my, on my thing. Because I got the doll, I get to roll one die. So here we go. One. So I uh, now have five foot arms. The front steps and the upper landing are adjacent to each other for you. I'm going to use my five foot normal arms, and uh, you know me. <gasps> and walking over to you and be like, hey, look what we can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, Crucifix of Banishing on you, which is a sanity attack. Target anyone on your tile, roll one additional die for each ghost on your tile. So because of this, it counts as three. There's two ghosts on this tile. Uh, but because I got the doll, it gets to be three, and I got five sanity. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll all eight of the dice. Oh, God. <sighs> Okay, so that is the sanity attack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Roll. Come on, okay. Kurt. Think about America. Can't do this yet, because I have to wait for an event. Okay, thinking of America, thinking that that, that one day I will go to space. Five, four, three, two, one. Going up. Oh. Okay, so I'm dead. <laughs> oh, no. It, it, you've died. Oh, one step for man. Dead. <laughs> One giant leap for faith! Kill that weak boy! For faith? <laughs> I don't know what kind of astronaut they are. Put him away! Put him away! No! And her spirit goes up to space. Oh my god, she finally went to Mars. Wow, they did Mars, it. right? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do now. So you drop that, you go, uh, and I'm like, sorry, spaceman, but weed made me powerful. <laughs> Sick. Um, so I'm gonna pick this up. Uh, and then go one more move and drop it at the crossroads. Now here's what you guys don't know. There's an alien here. Oh, oh, oh. I, had a, I had a feeling. Yeah, me too, I knew that. Oh, you no, know, I had a feeling, and it would make sense that they would kill the astronaut first. That's, that's the that biggest threat. That makes so threat. much sense, the biggest, biggest threat. threat. Here's the deal. Um, she is going to, uh, now her name is Pastitia. Pussy? Pussy? Sorry, Pussy? What? what about Lucy? Because she's in the sky with diamonds. Tell you what. LSD! I like that. So I'm going to name it Edward Thomas. Uh, E.T. for short. And she, thank you very much, is my best friend. So I've got to keep her away from all you guys to get her to the government. Um, so she's going to go one. I know, I love you too. Pick up two, three, four. <gasps> And that's the end of her turn. Oh, God. Except for I get to call in government mind control rays. So here's an awesome thing that happens for you. Choose uh, two heroes who are carrying the gramophone. No, the head in the jar. No, the meteorite. That's me. Radio, you, or are not on the armory, crawl space, or soundproof room. So no, nope. no, no. That's everyone. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move you. You're gonna go back oh. to the armory. One, two. You can move me? Yeah, because I've got because you're not in the weird spot. Oh, I'm so not in I'm the... using the government he just mind control. He picked you rights. up with his bare hands. Oh, How do you feel gosh. about that? It's awful. They come down out of the out of the ceiling and then they just grab me. Ugh. Alright, well that's uh, the end of my turn and the alien's turn. It's your turn, sweetie. <sighs> okay. Back in the armory. Girl All right. forever. I'm gonna walk back out of the armory. <laughs> I'm gonna go down here. Damn, I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh, I found the study. Uh, or, or I found the vault. Oh, yeah. Uh, more items. If there is no search token here, make a knowledge roll. Okay. That is a four, five, six. Damn. So six plus, draw the top two item cards and place a search token on this tile. You're incredibly powerful. Okay, and then I'm gonna bury this pocket watch. Okay. Whoa. I'm Whoa. gonna bury that, and I'm gonna gain one, two. So now I'm very fast. Okay, now there's also an event here. Crumbling ceiling, ah, these ceilings are awful. There's hands. Place a small obstacle token on this tile, then make a speed roll. Well, if there's one thing I've got, it's speed. Uh, okay, so I got four plus, so I gained one speed. Oh! Wow. <laughs> You're so fast! You, you look and you see in the doorway, a hallway, and you just see me just go like, Bye. <laughs> <laughs> It's my turn. One. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Flowers and butterflies. Work room. I love to work. Bury an item to draw the top item card. F it. I'm gonna bury it. Okay. You get. Just like I bury my 
I, I love when I, burying cards is my favorite thing. Me too. Yeah, girlfriend. <laughs> Normal oh, American you. cultist robes. This is sacred. The pockets contain small bones. <laughs> If you would take, if you, if you would take physical damage, you may take general damage instead. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep this. The servants' quarters. So I have an inhabitant and I have an omen. Talisman of Poltergeist. Ugh. Cool. I want that one. Creepy. Sacred to ward off evil. You may ignore all pen penalties caused by ghosts on event and ongoing event cards. Okay, I'm done. Uh, that was how many the does the large obstacle count for? Uh, two. Two, two okay. moves. Well, one, two. So that's three. Three, four. <clears throat> Damn. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to post up on the woods here. <clears throat> um, and that's the end of my turn. All right, so now it's the alien's turn. E.T. Um, she splorches this evidence into the fire. So that's one burned evidence. And then uh, two, three, and then four. Mind control time, baby. I can only control your brain. Why? Because you're the only one who doesn't have an item that stops me. Why does everyone want to control me? I don't really want to, but just for fun. One, two. That's it. Oh, I'm back in the organ room. Yeah. Actually, if anything, <laughs> that helps you, so Yay! never mind one, two. <laughs> Go bring me back! I can't. Okay, it's my turn. Carolyn! Okay, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna talk to, uh, what's her name? Is it Saucy Beth? Saucy Beth. Yeah, Saucy Beth, go ahead and talk to Let's Saucy see. Beth. Let's see, okay, so, and I'm gonna teleport here. Whoa, alien! <laughs> oh, gosh! You're so scary. Okay, now I have to roll to see if this teleportation messed me up really bad. Uh, that's a two. Uh, I take one mental damage. Okay. I'm gonna lose a little bit of knowledge. You know what, I see this alien, I'm like, I'm like, whoa! And then I'm gonna punch him, punch her in the face. Good job. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh that my, is a, oh my God, uh, that's an eight. Eight. Holy shit. That was a, it was wow. a walla. I, I literally appear out of nowhere, I'm like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> All right, so that is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, Alien is stunned. Whoa. Nice. Good job. Nice. I'm like, oh, and I just keep going, and I go over to here. Wow. And then I'm gonna. Search. Search, Search it. And then I do I get a yeah, do I get some right. evidence? Yay! Good job, Carolyn. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a headshot. No. She looks so gorgeous in it. She's there like <laughs> Oh, this is for commercials. The evidence is a headshot? It's a headshot. Of the alien? An alien headshot. headshot. So it's on this like strange like <laughs> film that's yeah. like a different than our typical photographs. That's beautiful. But it's gorgeous. I'm done. I'm all done. Okay. I finally did some stuff. <laughs> Butterflies and flowers. So I'm gonna talk to Sassy. Sassy Beth. Sassy Beth. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go to the front steps. So, two. She talks a lot about experiments. I get it. Take one mental damage. I guess my sanity. Who needs it? So I have three speeds. So I'm gonna move one, and then I'm gonna go to the woods. <gasps> I'm gonna search. Nice. nice. There's this tiny little box and it has a little hole. And so I put my finger right in the hole and I move my finger to the left and I unlatched it and it opened. And then this dust, <coughs> so much dust. And then I found this little, little um, cement print and it's an alien print. Oh, <sighs> And it only has two little feet, so cute. And Oops. so I, I have evidence of the alien footprint. Hey, lover boy. Yes. I'm gonna fucking fight you. That's all right. I always knew this day would come. You okay. got this, Sadie. Thanks, Carol. Where are you? I'm, I'm literally right over here. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, seven. five, six, seven. Seven, holy fucking He's on my side. Hoodly boodly, scoodly boodly, toodly snoodly. I love that song. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I take, I'll take three might damage, sure. Okay. Okay. Bye. One, two, three, wow. Way to go, Sadie. Thanks. Yeah. Wait, uh, all pulp is done has go back and forth? <laughs> <laughs> I found a car. He's securing the perimeter. <laughs> he found what we needed. Uh, Maybe we're related. Yes. Pulp has uh, made his way out of the maze. <laughs> I am back at the car. You back have a in the gun? Basket. A pitchfork? Uh, I will make my way into the bloody uh, pond. And then you stop there. Uh, stop. Freeze. Pulp. U.S. Secret Service. And I point my gun at Damien and I'm going to shoot him. I have a, a attack with speed with a revolver. 
and it's roll one additional die on your attack for the revolver. And then I'm a hunter. You may use speed instead of might when making might attack rolls. Roll one extra die on any attack you make with a weapon that uses speed. So He's I'll been thinking him. this. <laughs> oh, I was, damn. You were in the maze Pope, a long time. Pope was in the maze. He, he was just in the car thinking about, really hard. Wait, Kurt from oh, not the, the best fuck? roll. One, two. Are you kidding me? What, not the best roll? Three, four, five, five, six. So I'm going to guess as a seer that I get five because that's my best bet because that would make me not take damage if I got five. Four. Oh. So I take two speed damage. You shot me in the neck, bro. He's oh, very slow. That's a lot of <laughs> shots. <laughs> freeze! You had Secret Service. You shot and then said freeze? Secret Service shoots <laughs> like this? <laughs> Secret Service had to shoot that's like so that. interesting. Jesus. That's why I'm not very good at my job. Uh, that I lose all my moves, so I am done with my turn. <laughs> yeah, you Damn. are. Damn. All right, so now I only have two speed, which kind of blows. Um, and you count as an obstacle. So instead of going for Aunt Carolyn, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hop on over to these, this here pond and I'm gonna drink from my apothecary kit of mercy. I get to roll as many dice as there are ghosts. There's two and then I got that doll, right? So now I get to roll three dice and that is a one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I lose two knowledge. How did that happen? <laughs> I am also though going to do a sanity attack on you with the crucifix of banishing. Sir. And so that <laughs> I get to add I get to add three dice because of the ghost thing. Plus I have five sanity. I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna roll eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that's a seven sanity. Always one off. Kurt from heaven goes. Uh, one, five, <laughs> four, three, two, blast off. So that's a you. Too. So I do six <laughs> sanity damage. Oh, yeah. That's insane. It, oh damn! One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm not feeling too good, y'all. Hope. Let's take out this earpiece. Hope. Oh, I can hear. You're gonna be okay. All right. So it's Alien's turn. Alien is stunned, but now becomes unstunned for this next little bit. For uh, this mind control situation, I can only control you. Try it. I will. Um, and I also get to make you make an unarmed might attack against any other hero on that tile. So what? Hey, girl. Got, you got you to roll four might. Oh, Sadie, what are you doing? Hey, girl. Stop. Hey, Sadie. hey, girl. You got to roll four might against Car Carol. I'll <laughs> in your favor. Butterflies. Oh. Five. Five. OK, here I go. Uh, That's a three. Whoa. Four. Uh, four. Oh, well, luckily, I'm not even any slower. Oh, good. I forgive you. Thank you. Aww. All right, is it my turn? Yeah. Here I go. One, Whoa. two, three. Okay, I'm gonna move over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack you. I'm gonna attack you and I get one extra die because there's a ghost. Because I'm gonna attack with this Chris. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, that is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, oh. my God. Well, I'm I'm bringing the meatloaf. I'm starting to think that with my three, I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna roll a six so I can add one to it. I two. roll a two. So I take four physical damage, so you punched me to dust. Oh. Good job. <laughs> it's like, God. Pick God. This. That's for killing that astronaut. I never learned their name. Kurt. <laughs> Kurt. Kurt. I w you know, they went off into the woods and died, so. All right, so my final words, I'm yelling to this alien, and you can subtitle this how you choose. <laughs> Oh. Isn't that how I felt? I, you know what? I felt that. I'm really sad. You're like my only boyfriend that I trusted. See, what I don't get is this alien wants to hide. I want to bring this alien on my cooking show. That's all I want. Good for you. The commune is finally complete. I would like to discover more runes. So let's go. Let's go inside. One. Yeah, can you move me? Yeah, one. one. And then two. Hi, guys. Look at us. We're all together. And there's a, several dead bodies around us. Oh. Butterflies. OK, I'm done. OK, here I go. Okay. One, two. And then kill him. I'm gonna shoot this motherfucker alien. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> the alien's just getting up, just like, ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you can call yo, yo, oh. Two, two. What? I'm sorry, what were you saying? Uh, what can I call? Beep boop pop. All right, so the alien's very fine. 
Okay. Okay, okay uh, so. Ting, ting. Whoa. Oh my god. Two birds fall from the sky. Uh, <laughs> you guys. Oh. Um, Paul? Oh, not even what? Paul, you didn't really do anything. I, I did not. I did not. Now I'm going to run. Thank it's really. the alien's turn. I scared it a little bit. It, the alien is definitely scared. Is it? I know language now. <laughs> I'm not scared. Here I go. One, two, three. <gasps> I don't like what you did to my dad. <laughs> Still learning <laughs> concepts. I'm gonna attack you with my might. Carolyn. Six of them. Attacks, oh, thank you. So one, two, That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Uh, why don't you go ahead and roll your three might? You got it, girlfriend. That was a four. It was a five, that's not bad, but it's not enough. It's not enough, so you drop all your evidence. Oh! oh. And my alien, and I'm me, I'm the alien. <laughs> I eat it, and so I can't move anymore. Good. Um, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna mind control you, you. Baby, don't. I'm gonna make you punch her. <gasps> my girlfriend? Yeah. How dare might. you? Use your four might and punch her with her three. Okay, so I'm just, I'm a, a bit of a follower. So I'm gonna roll my might. Sadie, stop it. And then I'm gonna <laughs> punch you. And I have three might that I'm gonna defend what did with. I, what did I roll? Uh, oh, three. three. Thanks. Two. Ooh. Oh, so you do one. So now I have five oh. speed. Sorry, babe. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna attack this. I'm gonna attack this friggin' thing. I'm gonna get my stuff back. Good job. Uh, oh, and I also rolled two additional die. Jesus. Oh, that's a five. Take right. that. Good job, Carolyn. We'll see if I do. I'm not familiar with things. Are we? Are we kind of vibing? You know, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang it. Ping. Ah, uh, and they I just can't get this evidence back out. Okay, I'm gonna start moving. My speed is three. So I'm gonna go to the car to drop off this evidence. One, two, while I'm stuck here. So, cool. yep. One, two, uh, three. Uh -oh. uh, each other player on the tile with at least one ghost takes one die of mental damage. Oh. Oh. Then roll two dice. One die? Me, yeah, me, one me. Die. One, die. one die. Give me that. Three. One. How did I get here? Find the next odds outside tile, place it, and place your figure there. So All right, how much mental? Yeah. Zero. I did one and I hey, have one negative one now. Got it. Alien time, baby! Uh, I'm gonna fight you. You killed my dad. Um, I'm gonna roll my six I might. I didn't kill your dad. Probably, you didn't help. Uh, that is six, seven, eight. Eight might coming at you, lady. You've got this, Sadie. Thanks, Carolyn. <laughs> Okay. Three. All right, so uh, I take your evidence. Ow, don't bite my hand. Um, and now my alien fucking books it because one, two, three, five, five, and then splorch into the fire. Blap, oh. that's right. Take that headshot, take that files, take that. I forget what you said. And now we turn to entry 94 in the bleak journal for the alien has won and you guys, uh, you guys. Curse is Silly. I just wanted you on my show. The last of the evidence goes on in the fire. The alien watches the flames grow. Part of her wishes it would burn the house down. Mostly she knows it wouldn't change anything. Still, the flames are beautiful and they grow larger and larger. Destroy the unfinished room tile completely. As the alien walks away from the house, she hears a voice behind her, the voice of a young girl. I don't need to hide anymore. I need to find my way home. The alien turns, but there is no one there. From the corner, a small creature watches the flames. The government isn't particular about who or what they use as a spy. New orders, put families under surveillance. Monitor descendants for further anomalies. The government watched the abandoned inn, interfering with anyone foolish enough to trespass. After the events of the night, the inn was abandoned. No one claimed ownership and it fell into disrepair. For over 40 years, it lay dark. And then, one day, a girl emerged from the shadows to blink in the light for the first time in a long while. I need to find my father, she said. And that is the end of Bath Legacy. But we got one more episode when we're gonna be in more or less the modern day. The government wins again, like I said at the very beginning. You can't trust them and they're the only ones you can trust. <sighs> we'll be back with our descendants next time. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one.
to the grand finale of Betrayal Legacy on Board AF. Oh, what a journey it's been. Lots of people dying along the way from every family. Because this is the grand finale taking place in 2004, let's meet all of our characters first, because this one's about to get crazy. <laughs> Greetings and welcome. My name is Yancey Grub Boodles. My mother hyphenated her last name to keep the power of a name away from my incubus of a father. I am the teacher of this here class, taking them on a field trip. We were supposed to go to the Glendale Zoo, but instead I took them to massive two sits to show them the real world. And I'm an occultist. You know I have the eldritch knowledge that I require, summoning the ancient ones to give me strength. Allow me to introduce you to my class, starting with the theatrics. I'm Chris Darren, and I am a senior, and uh, you might have recognized me from the fall musical, Beauty and the Beast. I was Monsieur de Arc. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an investigator, because I like to really dive into a scene and really take it apart line <laughs> by line. And see what's going on there. See what's getting in that character's head. <laughs> what's up, guys? My name is Final Girl Brenda Poppy. Don't call me Brenda. People call me Final Girl. I'm a sophomore, I'm grounded, and I'm a hunter. In a former life, I was known as Spencer Agnew Braun. But due to the government chasing me, surveilling me my entire life, <laughs> I had to abandon that identity and now I go by the Chosen. Many people see me just merely as a junior in high school, but I am simply so much more. A hacker, martial artist, and I guess of relevance, a seer. An ability I gained after play playing Metal Gear Solid 3, the Snake Eater this year. We'll see if the fates are in my favor. Okay. You smell like cream cheese. Hi. It's delicious. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? My name is Regina. Um, I am Sadie's niece. Yeah, she's my aunt. She's a little... But anyways, um, did I get in trouble or something or why am I sitting with all of you guys? This is so weird. Um, <laughs> anyways, if you guys wanna come to my party, just let me know because we have a strict list. Also, I am a well-to-do. <laughs> This whole thing, I could easily get another. So all I have to do is draw a card from the item deck and then I immediately bury it to gain two in any trait. Yeah. All right, it's time to listen up and abandon your gods. I'm gonna keep a close eye on each of you because I know what you're up to. Chapter 13, a Tuesday. When you are ready to return to hell, I've been prepared forever. Have the bravest player read the first line on the back of this card then pass it to their left. Each player should read one line and then pass the card to the player on their left. I am the bravest. Ew. 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 Okay, we can agree on that. <laughs> the abandoned homestead sits atop a hill. We all know the history. We believe the stories. We know he has escaped his prison. Oh my God, I'm in hell. <laughs> I'm literally in hell. We are here to stop him. We all got a letter written in a childlike hand. My father has had many lives and gone by many names. All these rebirths drove him mad. Period. But still he has answers for you. Oh my gosh. We can show you how to defeat Faneer. 
Sounds like your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> oh, Fenrir. The Fenrir. wolf, the wolf god. I'm aware. I know you are. I've trained you. Meet us at the house my father built. I have hidden for so long. But now it is time to fight. Shuffle the new event and item decks into their respective decks. Put the innkeeper and all that into the tomb. We got new inhabitants, and we all start on the entrance hall. Now we get to look at the clock on the back of the rule book where we've been doing check marks this whole damn time. All right, I can see you're also touched by darkness and I appreciate you for getting me to this place here. Okay. A girl, her face is young, but her eyes have a knowing look. And you, and you said she is wise beyond her appearance. She smiles warmly. I know how to stop him. I was too afraid to find my way out, but your families were so brave. You gave me the strength. She pauses a moment before continuing. The stars have fallen and it is time to act. Come, we must find the madman, my father. He will tell you how to end this. We are lucky. His mind is clearer than usual tonight. She dashes off into the house. Find the girl inhabitant card. Place it face down near the other inhabitants. The family who has been the traitor the fewest times takes the first turn. So now we get to look on the back and see if we've been traitor. Um, I've been traitor. I've only been a traitor once. Really? Literally once. Have you? My ancestors have only been betrayers once. I've, my family's been the traitor twice. Twice. Three times. So I guess it's me and the chosen. So you'd rock, paper, scissors, but if you go first, then it would make sense that you go and then you go because either way, you two are the first two turns. Do you know what I mean? All right, kiddo. I've been training you for years in the ways of combat and knowledge. You take the first turn. Fine. I know of this place. My aunt used to talk about it before she died violently of old age. Good <laughs> for her. Violently of old age. I'm getting a sense from it in this room. Excellent. <laughs> a mundane elevator. <laughs> yeah, sure. Most things that are mundane are not mundane. I don't need to take this elevator. I'll check the other side of this hallway. An arboreum. Hmm. Boreum. Yeah, I'm so bored. It appears there's a man in there with you. The madman. He's pissed. A raving, frothing madman. Hey, everyone. I found a madman in here. Ew. It's a little rude to refer to him in the third person, but I'm glad you've announced it. For you see, when you discover the madman and your turn, then flip this card and follow the instructions, and we do not make haunt rolls in this game. The haunt starts now. Shut the f up. Oh my okay. God, this is so fun. That's one, you're gonna get written up. <gasps> well, can I just say, I think it's really inappropriate you brought us on this, this field trip that none of our parents actually approved. Yeah, and actually like, I didn't, none of my friends are here. I'm supposed to be rehearsing for regionals. Nobody cares. Can you guys help me find, I was looking for who the f asked. Set aside five of the figures used to represent players in chapters one through eight. These are the thralls. Oh sh it's the dead bodies of our relatives. I'd know the smell of my dead uncle anywhere. Oh my God, oh. I look f***ing disgusting. Wow, it, it, really, it really does bring you back to see their desiccated corpses wandering about. I knew this had happened. I'm an old man, how f***ing gross is that? So let's take a look at these very special looking cards that look exactly like the helm. <gasps> if y'all can see here, it appears as though the haunt is revealed to us in the cards. That's why I don't mess with tarot. Only the root that is a delicious when used in poi. Main goal, talking to the madman. We read the leftmost unchecked entry below in the Bleak Journal when we do that, then check that entry in this card. So we gotta get information. We can also talk to the girl while getting uh, info on the Bleak Journal. That also checks entries on this card. That's gonna help us with whatever the hell we're doing. At the start of your turn, even if you're dead, you can blacken a space on the helm without a crest or blacken a crest of a family not playing this game. If you can't do either, blacken one of your own family's crests instead. When you blacken your family's last crest, place a thrall on a tile with a gate or on your tile. So basically, here's what we're dealing with. We talk to the madman and the girl. They're gonna tell us what to do. We lose if all of us is dead. And I lose my job if even one of you gets <laughs> dead. So don't. I'm not gonna die. Seriously, I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna hold you to that, Parisian Hilton. I love that. 
Yeah. That's really cute. Thank right. you. So here's the deal. As your teacher, I need you to know that there's gonna be a madman and a girl here. What do we not do with strangers? Talk to, talk them. to them. That's fucking wrong. You gotta talk to them and get as much info We're as you can. Investigate. Your turn, miss. Okay, is it literally my turn? Oh my God, like why did I get caught up with you guys? Losers. Okay, so my speed is four. Yeah, excuse me. I like your name. One. Two. You fall on the ground. <laughs> oh my god, do you need help? Here. No. Do you need help? No. Are you dancing or <laughs> moving? Yes. Uh, okay, I'm f***ing out of here, you weirdo. Okay, I'm gonna talk to this old creepy guy. Hey, what's up? I'm gonna talking to you, la 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 la. All right, so you've spoken to the madman. That's entry 147. I entrust that you can read. Um, yeah, I can f***ing read. I'm going to Harvard next year. Weirdo. <laughs> okay. The madman stands before you, his eyes clear and focused. I have, I have always, always lived here. It, it was, was I who bound, bound him all oh, those lifetimes ago. When I die, I come back. I've been a farmhand and a groundskeeper. I think I ran an inn. Sometimes I did good things, sometimes terrible things. I am cursed. I will be reborn again and again until he's destroyed. I am Tyr. All those years ago, I swore an oath not to rest until the annihilation of Fenrir. Our Jarl? Yeah. Our Jarl who cheated death. I bound him in hell. I lost a hand to him. I drove my spear into him, cutting the helm from his body. But still, he was not destroyed. And so my work is not done. Okay, he looks at you, judging your worth. You, dude. Your ancestors, willing or not, bound your families to his cause by worshipping his helm in order to gain power. But they were weak. While you are strong. The night is literally fucking freezing. Tyr raises his voice. Our task is twofold. First, we must create a weapon not of this world. Only with that can we kill him. And then we must find our own way to hell to surprise him. Know this, one of you will likely betray us. But if we hurry, we may finish our tasks before his corruption takes one of you. We must, the other worlds, find the elevator. I can't. Where am I? His eyes grow hazy. Just go to bed, dude. Seriously. Young lady, I heard what that man said. Yeah. And I swear to God, if we're making gung near here today, we're all f***ed. Okay, I have literally no idea what gung... What it's the lance used by... Omen. Oh, Ooh, master bedroom. My mom's bedroom is all pink. How cute is that? Ugh. Crucifix of banishing. Classic. Cool. It's sacred and it's crudely made, but it's super sharp. And you can tell it has killed before, obviously. Yeah, I've done it. Give me that helm. I've got to blacken out one of my things, so I'll do the one on the titties. Have you ever blacked out before? I don't drink. You don't drink? It's bad for your voice. Same. I don't what? do it either. Of course you don't. And I'm religious. Ew. Oh, so am I. I go to church every single Sunday with my mom and my dad. Me too. And you're holding a crucifix. <laughs> and I sing in the choir. Here I go, there's no turning back. This is no, gonna get so My so life's fast. turned <laughs> back. Madman, tell me things. All right, so we're gonna turn to entry 171. A malignum. That's what this place is. A wound in the world built over a malignum. No wonder everything leads to this house. Everything. Take this. He runs off. Draw the top omen card. You are now carrying it. The hungry porcelain doll. <gasps> oh. oh, hell yeah, I wish I had that. Oh, I've talked to the man, he's given me a doll. Thank you, man. <laughs> Welcome to the dining room, kiddo. You get yourself an item, and then you get to talk to a lady. I can't get over how inappropriate this is. Uh, Beatles, uh. Beetle, Beatles boner silver marrow spoon. Uh, sounds even more inappropriate. <sighs> that was my great, great, great grandfather's. <laughs> it was for bone marrow. Ew. All right, and now you get to talk to this lady, which I can only assume is the little girl. A girl? Hi, little girl. When you discover a new tile with the girl symbol, roll dice equal to the number of girl symbols discovered in the house. <laughs> wow. Gain one knowledge of sanity. Wow. Chris Darren. See, you learn by speaking to ethereal beasts. I've taught you all well. 
Oh my God, you have not taught me shit. Quick pop quiz. How many freckles on the ass of a werewolf? One. What? Thank you. See, you do learn. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to the madman. Oh, captain, right my here. captain. Yeah. Um, I look at him and I'm like, we're all a little mad, aren't we? <laughs> at me? Oh my God, she's so cool. So. He's gonna turn, he was gonna want you to turn to entry 150. 150, the amount of times I've cried. Oh God. Uh, he feeds off the deaths in the house. He's getting stronger. He's made people think there was a witch so they'd kill each other. That was his first trick. The thralls are coming. Here, this'll help. He shoves something small into my hand. Ew! Fuck. It's a dead mouse with a bite taken out of it. Why do you keep getting like, Poppy. I'm like, whoa, this reminds me of that song by Panic at the Disco. <laughs> Place the uh, his tile on the outside tile farthest from the front steps. Okay, outside, well that's the just front the front steps. steps. Okay, this is so insane. I'm holding a rat with a bite taken out of it. I guess beggars can be choosers. Shut up, okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> that's two, you're getting written up. I'm, Ground okay. floor well house. Okay. So. A spirit in the well wants an offering. Bury an item to gain two sanity. I have no items yet, damn. But, but now you will. But you're gonna get one. Yes, do, so. okay, oh my God, feather. <laughs> you always That's crazy, one. I always get this feather and I only know that because I dream from the past. Okay, Ew. you may bury this card. I'm going to bury it. Well, I have to. Spirit, yeah, bury this card to gain two sanity. Easy peasy, lemon f***ing squeezy. That's three curses. I'm not gonna tell you your limit, Whoa. but when you reach it, you will know. Yeah. Okay, Teach, you're up. Thank you. I suspect we're equal levels of sanest one here. All right, so I'm going to begin my moment by tracking down this madman. Don't worry, I too have been gripped by the cold hands of madness. Tear, I recognize you when I see you. It happens to be a Tuesday, which gets its name's origin from your fucking name. So that better have some benefits in this story. Are we making Gungni or not? Oh the my God, levels. The meteorite that fell. It's not of any known worlds. We can make a new spearhead for my spear. I know it's Gungni. Oh, One that's that can why kill the alien you. Was here. You'll have to forge it. Find, forge the spearhead and put it on the table. It is the new main goal for this here haunt. How's your mom's basement? One thirteen. Fine. I have a GameCube down there. Cool. Right. Listen up. Got some good news and some bad news. Good news is I found the main goal. Bad news is I'm gonna be yelling while I say it. Oh no. Forge the spearhead. I know a little thing about forgery. Just a little spoiler, my name is not really Yancey Grub Boodles. What is it? It is a secret to reveal at another time. For if I told it to you in your current mental state, you would merely bleed out of every orifice in your face. Oh, I already do, and I'm doing it right now. Damn, I like you, kid. All right, I'm gonna use the rest of my turn here to go uh, uh, and talk to this little girl. Sorry for terrifying you, little girl, but I need some info. There's a crack in this world, and this house is built on it. There are other worlds nearby. They make real th things you are afraid of. Some of those things sneak through. Place the little girl token on any bedroom tile if any have been discovered. <clears throat> She's in the master bedroom now. Uh, we've only found one, so I get to roll one die. <clears throat> Two, gain one in a mental trait. Well, looks like I'm boosting up my sanity yet still more making me the equally sanest one here. I get to move one more tile to the ground floor. We have ourselves a porch leading to an event. This is the longest turn in all of history. Well, get ready, because it's about to get fucking weird. Delirium, you can't focus. Your head is so cloudy. Something is so cloudy, can't focus. That's a palindrome. All right, so now I must roll two dice in my delirium. Sorry, it's the cold grip of madness. It is a three. How did I get here? Find the next outside tile, place it, and place your figure there. Boom, the underground cavern. Oh my God, this event is the portal one, where you all saw it last time. Watch every episode, please. Y'all know what this is. Your turn, kiddo. I'm gonna place the portal here. All right, I'm gonna go talk to this girl. Good luck. First time for everything, eh, sport? <laughs> First, let me do this roll really quick. Okay. It's a one. Gain one knowledge and one sanity. Jesus. <sighs> yeah. All right, 99. If you can find him, you can kill him this time. That rock from space, the one that 
caused all the bright lights in the sky 40 years ago. That rock will hurt him when nothing else will. I'll help you find it. Draw the top omen card. You are now carrying it. Place the girl token on any discovered tile in the basement. Oh, sh She has given me a meteorite. Quite literally the meteorite. Gain a mutation when you draw this. You lose the mutation if you lose the meteorite. Roll dice equal to the number of ghosts on your tile. Add one to the result for each checked box on this card. Zero. There are zero, okay. The front steps and upper landing are adjacent to each other for you. Because why? Five foot arms. Oh. <laughs> Chosen now has five foot arms. Get drawing it! Jeez, five foot arms, that's crazy. I'll keep going. I'll go this way. Armory. Oh, nice. When discovered, draw the top item card until you get a weapon. Well, Jesus. Until you get a weapon? I found a revolver. I'm not a fan of firearms, I think they're lazy. What is it called? A damn revolver. Mm -hmm. Target anyone within line of sight. Roll one additional dive on your attack. Okay, well, I have a meteorite, a hand mirror of vengeance, and a damn revolver. Oh my god. Not only that, you find yourself in the armory, which means forging the spearhead is currently potentially possible. So you get to add two to the result of your roll, plus you get to predict your roll. So do this well, because you need a seven plus to get this thing forged. You want to do it or not? Oh, of course I'll do it. Excellent. Then make a might roll of three. Okay, I'm gonna use my seeing powers to predict that I'm gonna roll a four. Nuts. Why don't you open up your eyes and black out one of your family's crest, right. kiddo? Shoot. This would be the point where the monsters take a turn, but thankfully they have not shown up yet. But tick tock on the clock, because it ticks down to our death. I have failed. That's fine. I am not worthy of this meteorite, and I will drop it on the ground for perhaps a more worthy warrior. How are your arms feeling? Long. Well. Since I'm gonna be prom queen next week when we go back to school, I guess I am the worthy warrior. That's alliteration. Learned that in class. Okay, speed is four, so I'm gonna go into this cool. Oh yeah, you can move me. That was gonna help you. No, no, help me. Okay, where do you want me to put? Okay, you? right in the armory. That's so cool. Okay, so I'm in this armory, this cool place with blades and like this cool guy. I can't tell if he's looking at me or his eyes are shut. Hi. Anyways, so I'm gonna pick up this meteorite. So cool. Nice. Give, give me, Let's give me, see give what me. kind of mutation you get. Incriminating meteorite. A hunk of stone, not from this world. It changes you. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna gain a mutation. Not that I need something new, because I'm perfect. When you draw this, you lose the mutation if you lose the meteorite. Roll dice equal to the number of ghosts on your tile. My arms are now normal sized again. There are no ghosts on yeah, your tile. I noticed. There's no ghost in my tile, so. Whoa. So you get a zero, which means. Five foot arms! Yay! Whoa, whoa. Yeah. I knew this Yay! Uh, 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 come to my house for a pool party. It's gonna be awesome! So I'm gonna continue. Make a might roll. If you can roll seven plus, and plus the meteorite gives you a plus two, then you're good to go. May you succeed where I failed. I will. Thanks. <gasps> she One, succeeded two, three, where you four, failed! Five, six, seven. New favorite student. Warrior. You have created the reforged spear in the purgatory deck, so now you are carrying it. Let's hand a spear to this I little girl. I have a spear! Yay! Hi. Here we go. This is for you. Thank you. Oh my god, this is so fun. I'm having more fun now. Reforged spear. Sacred weapon. Better to die upon your feet. Get it, girl. So I can target anyone on my tile, and you may re-roll one die for each other omen you are carrying. Oh, biscuits. If, if you are the traitor, you lose two from each trait if you are carrying the reforged spear at the end of your turn. Oh, snitch. But I'm not the traitor. So I am gonna keep moving. Sayonara, buddy. Boop. Okay, so I have three left. One, two, and I'm gonna go out to the front steps. And I'm gonna talk to this old, old guy. Amazing, so we need to turn to entry 57 in the Bleak Journal. Great. We, we can, can use his omens to create our own way to hell. The, the elevator, elevator can be enchanted to explore the other worlds, to find an entrance to the land your ancestors locked shut. 
Enchant the elevator. It is a new main goal for this haunt. Enchant the elevator. We can invoke while on the mundane elevator, which you've already found. I'm proud of you. We roll a die for each omen anyone on the elevator is carrying. Add one of the result for each checked box on the helm near the runes. Eventually, when we enchant it, we can turn this card over. So that is our next goal. Class, to the elevator. Can I just say how damn proud of you kids I am? Ain't not one of you's dead yet. Can we go back to school then? Yeah, well, if you live, it's the first field trip I've ever done where the kids so survived. So I'm going to the elevator? Yeah. 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 It's been like 20 minutes. It's been a weird day. Okay, I'm gonna go to the elevator because um, I follow the rules because I'm emo. One, <laughs> two, three. Excellent. All right, I will also black out one of these spaces here for getting my ancestor. This one's for Simon. One, two, three, four. There he is. There I am. <laughs> Why is everyone sad about it? All right, so there are five Things that are blacked out on the crest. If I roll a two, blow on it. All right. Oof. <laughs> wow. Damn. Calamari. Come on, Teach. One, I'm sorry, kiddos, but it ain't my place. I've been training you. You're the hero, kid. It's time to redeem myself. One, two, three, four. Wow. Amazing. Black out one of your things on the helm, and then you make your roll, kiddo. Actually, Mr. Grubbs, it's 2004, so I think you mean African American out one of your things. <laughs> so let's see. You roll one die for each omen anyone on the elevator's carrying. So now we got one, two dice. How many do I need? Oh, uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. You need a one. So predict you'll get a zero. Oh, yeah. I'm going to roll a zero. I rolled a four. Oh, you enchanted the f out of that elevator. You invoked your lithotep. All right, so now that the elevator is enchanted, we can do my favorite thing, which is called ride into hell. That feels inappropriate. In addition to its normal operate action, you may explore the other worlds from the elevator. Return to the elevator when you are done exploring the other worlds. The first time you move to a corner of hell, place the madman on the elevator and turn to entry 116 on the bleak journal. So kiddo, you enchanted it. You gonna ride to hell or what? I cannot go to hell this time. I'm kind of winded from walking all the way to this elevator. You literally walked like four steps. <laughs> yeah, but it was with so much determination that spiritually I'm exhausted. Yeah, that was intense. I can feel your chi from here. You broke like We're the floor. We're just all parts. standing in the elevator. And I go, <laughs> I go, did you guys vote for Clay Aiken or Ruben <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's my turn. I'm heading to the elevator. Oh. You want me to move you up? Yes, please. You're so fun. Hey, what's up? You're honestly really cute. Um, and I'm gonna use my other turn and go into the other world. Do I still have long arms? Yeah, they're yeah. long as f***ing weird. Woo! You got, you got a spear at the end of a five foot arm. Woo! <laughs> I wanna point out that the weight limit on this elevator is, uh, we've, we've surpassed what it. What are you saying what the right now? We surpassed <laughs> it long ago. <laughs> are you calling me fat? My no. bones are hollow like a bird. I'm saying I'm buff. I think we'd have a lot more room in this elevator if Chris Darren wasn't doing the splits. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to rehearse. <laughs> I'm going down. We're not very fat because the elevator only goes down one way, and you've discovered a corner of hell. Ooh, corner of hell to get back all of the people who called me fat. Tears breathing goes ragged. His eyes dart around, like wide and fearful, like he's so scared. I prayed I'd never be back here. He draws in a shaky breath. <sighs> we oh. shut up. Shut the f up. Thank you. We must use my fort. We forge spear to strike Fenrir down. He may already have sensed us coming. We should wait for the right moment. Study his weakness. We'll only have the one chance. If we fail, we die. He'll escape. He pats a pocket like remembering something. Oh yes, the girl. My daughter. Huh? Whoa. I think we knew that. She, she told me these might help. He presses like some really creepy <coughs> old photographs in your hands. Like he just like puts it in your hands and you're like, ew, these are so old. And he's like, just, just take them. Give each hero the photograph from their from the tomb with their family crest on it. Well, allow me to distribute these photographs real quick from the sweet potatoes. Who the f came up with that name? So you said uh, read entry 116? So find, discover the wolf's weakness, page 295, mm -hmm. and confront the wolf. Great. Put them face up. 
on the table. These are new goals for the hunt. Their actions are available. <coughs> if, if people keep coughing when I talk, I'm gonna flip out. Time for me to read these out for you. Our new main goal is confronting the wolf, AKA Fenrir, the giant wolf, birthed by Loki. Attack using the reforged spear while on a corner of hell. Add two to the result for each trait token on Discover the Wolf's Weakness, which we have not done yet. Add three to the result if, the, if your crest is on the back of the helm. How to Discover the Wolf's Weakness. Study while on a corner of hell. Choose a trait token not already on this card, then make a roll with that trait. Four plus, place that trait token on this card. Okay, bitches, I'm gonna do a trait roll to weaken this wolf. Yeah, so I'm gonna do might, so that's four. You did One, it. two, three, four, five. Hell yeah, so now we have the might token on confronting the wolf. Get on out of hell, girl, come on back. Okay, I'm coming back to the elevator, be kind. You did good. Do you need a Capri Sun and some gushers to get your blood sugar back yeah, to normal? Yeah, I would love that, a fruit roll up. Are you kidding me? That would make my ass fat, please. Proud of you. It sh in this elevator, Mr. who's Drummond farting? What? I did not fart and I've never farted I literally in my life. I've also never farted. IRL, I farted about five minutes ago and I feel like that inspired you and I'm sorry. I got more brewing and it's on the way and none of us is happy about it and I'm sorry. Did you fart? Do I look like I farted? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You do. I'm done. Okay, it's time for Chris Darren's turn. Okay. <laughs> Down once more to the darkness of the strange oh, The strange Hey, little girl, I love talking to you. Do you want to be in my regional set? Zero. Gain one knowledge and one sanity. Are you kidding? Nice. I'm the sanest one here. <laughs> All right, 167. Time to read it. I can't hide anymore. He's too powerful, and he'd find me anyway. We have to find him first. I know the secrets of the house. I'm going into the other world. Good luck, kiddo. I'm gonna study the wolf's weakness using my knowledge. Hell yeah, you're the smartest kid here. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> All right, so we got the knowledge trait here on the confront the wolf. <laughs> yeah. Come back in, kid, come back in. Oh. Okay, it is my turn, um, and that means I need to black this out, and this is the last one of mine on the hoe. Uh-oh, you know what that means, kiddo. Okay, that means I have this, like, f***ing thing that comes to haunt us, You gotta right? place a thrall. Okay, suddenly we're, like, all in this cramped <gasps> room, and I'm, like, trying to, like, navig navigate through the Chosen's Fart. Just like when I'm you go like... to that first room of Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. Yeah. It's f***ing crowded and sweaty. And suddenly, holy s***. Who is that? That's that. <gasps> what the f***? Who is that? Get the f out of here! I'm here. I'm Lenny. I'm here to kill the O'Brien. Oh my god! And kill the Poppy family, even though I was a member of them too. The monsters have been placed. They were your ancestors once, but a century in hell has corrupted them. Thralls move toward the closest hero and then stop and attack him. The haunt revealer chooses if there is a tie. Thralls can pass between two gates in the house for one move. We have no gates here. If a hero deals any damage to a thrall, they may move it that many tiles, ignoring obstacles. That thrall is not stunned. So you control the thralls because you were the haunt revealer. But I say personally, maybe you beat the shit out of your cousin or whatever my the fuck that is. My uncle who's smoking a huge cigarette in here. Let's get him the fuck out of also, here. Also, my uncle too. Like, I'm feeling some weird, like, nostalgic vibes. <laughs> okay, so I'm Pull gonna... suspenders. <laughs> get him, girlfriend. This is what they say about generational tragedies. You have to kick it from the top. We've all seen Encanto. Two. 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 All right, your ancestor now it strikes with a two. Two. You get to choose the tie. Who wins the tie, person on our side? Lenny has lost. Okay. Yes! <laughs> I have deemed the ghost unworthy. I will kill all the men that have ever been in my family. Whoa, wait. <laughs> wait. So uh, get out of here, uh, bad vibes. And I'm gonna push him out. Bye. And we're gonna go. Nice. Yeah, let's go back to where we were. Sorry, little girl. <laughs> Okay, it's here. We're good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off to hell. Okay, here I go. Oh, shit, that's enough. I've trained you to be sane enough. Therefore, you're my substitute teacher. I've just met you today. <laughs> All right. Your turn. Ah, Mr. Grub will descend into hell. I know these places well. Get me back on in there. I'm gonna do speed roll. I may be the sanest one here. But y'all are about to be seeing something fucking crazy. Want to see me run to that door and back? I just did it. 
here like my aunt. Huh, six! <laughs> That's right. I've studied this wolf using my arcane speed, gifted to me by Nyarlathotep of the many faces. I'm back from hell. Y'all get me anything? Uh, Give um, me a Dunkaroos, they're still around. All right, five foot arm girl. I'm gonna do something that you may not understand until way later, but I have to do it. Dodged it with my crimson power. Okay, what's up? You're holding that spear. Yeah? It's not your turn, so you can't drop it. I want him to get that final strike because just look at him. So I'm gonna make you drop it by fighting you. Fight me, bitch. Good, so I feel someone calling out to me. Hello, yes, I'm very polite. Oh, I'm sorry, I, did I do that? Oh, it's the person that metagamed the most and had the least fun. He's the one telling me to attack you and drop the spear. Therefore, I'm gonna hit you with my. Well, I've got somebody coming in, oh my God. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Oh, oh God. God. What's your name, girl? What's your name, girl? You're uh, cute, girl. My name's I'm about to come girl. and I got a spear, bitch, and I'm gonna drop it, mother Oh my God, Chris Darren, I think I have a crush. <laughs> 2004 is sick. Who's this fucker? Here we go, concentrating all my strength into my grub fist. That's called a Shadow Clone Jitsu. Number four, and your length of tip is giving me power. Can you beat a four? <laughs> Can I beat a four? What's your name? Uh, it's Final Girl. <laughs> I love that. Atheist. This is the final time I'm gonna fucking kick your ass, bitch. <laughs> and you. So instead of doing damage, I'll stop right before you and go plink and drop that spear to the ground. Oh, 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 I'm going back. I'm going, wait, hold on. You're actually pretty cute. Is that fucked up? <laughs> oh, I'm going back. I'm going, oh my God. Okay, bye. I'm so sorry. I have to leave you too. I'm glad you learned how to have fun and stop metagaming. Bye. Okay, like my ancestors are fucking hot. So drop your spear on the ground. Fine. Let me get it out of my purse. This is the weird- the My lip gloss! Here you go. Drop it on the ground. Oh, well, I'm not picking it up. We're just dropping it on the ground. This is pissing me off. There's a tampon. Drop it on the ground! My tampon! Hold on, let me get my tampon. Oh my god. Can I have my tampon? What? What even is that? All right, kiddo. I've trained you for 37 years. That's literally not impo- that's impossible, but okay. Believe in the impossible. It's time for you to make this final strike against the wolf. Pick up the spear and have your moment. Before I pick up this spear, we need to all harness our ancestors. Mm. The strength of us alone is not enough. We need more spirits involved. Mm. Each and every one of us in this elevator. This incredibly cramped elevator. You could say that again. Yeah, you farted. Do I look? <laughs> <laughs> you guys first. Okay, I'll try. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I've come back! Ew, what is going on? I love how tall your hair is, though. I was the queen of my time, and I'm proud of you! Oh, wow, wait, that's really actually sweet. Oh. Strong seat. Ew! Oh. Ew! Oh. Ew. Oh. Not me crying. <laughs> Don't cry. Wow, okay. Whatever I can do to help us out. Flowers? Flowers? Oh no. Catch up! Catch up! Flowers? Oh no. Oh no. Melinda, where's my son? I'm Ronald. I'm Ronald. <laughs> Flowers? Flowers? <laughs> oh, vacuum. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. I don't know if that helped at all, but that it did a... ruin my voice. That was intense. <laughs> Your turn. Hey, I'm sorry what I said about all those Episcopals and Presbyterians. Whoa. I learned later that heaven is real different than anybody got it, and every religion is wrong. <laughs> so let me do this. Right, oh, so wow. oh, you've come down to here and I face the Irishman. <laughs> ah, kill it, kill it, kill it, football kill it. Why is your head so high there? What? Literally, what did you just say? Right. I'm Irish? <laughs> cool. All right. I step into the corner of hell, just like in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and I wield the spear. Probably. And I throw it with all of my might, and all of my ancestors are flying around me. Me? It's Beetle Brawn. It's Cornelius Brawn. Clyde Brawn. Hey! Oh, it's me! Hey! Dumpster Man! And oh, it's me, your aunt! Hey, is this, is this, 
Oh, why is everyone, what's everyone doing? Oh, nephew, you look so cute. And I throw the spear with all of my might. I predict that I will roll a four using my knowledge of my ancestors. And I absolutely frickin' kill it. You rolled a 15, which means we turn to entry 203 in the Bleak Journal. That's enough. You come upon him unawares, Fenrir the Wolf. The last look in his eyes is one of horror, of knowing the end finally has come. The spear finds purchase, piercing through the naked breastbone where the helm once was. Titty shot. Blackness flows from the, s the wound like blood and screaming rends the air. Smoke rises acrid off his body, filling your lungs. You find yourself back in the house. Foul smoke wafts up between ancient floorboards. You know your life is measured in minutes. You are not strong enough to resist the blackness. Thoughts grow hazy, sliding into obscurity. Mom's spaghetti. You stumble toward the entrance <laughs> to find one last cl clean breath to say goodbye to the mortal world. Your limbs turn to ash and footless stumps drag you forward. Ew. One more moment of humanity, just one more chance to look upon another human face. Somewhere outside, you hear it, a car pulling up, stopping, car doors slamming, voices, people approaching the house, the house. You have killed him, but the house is forever rotten. You are crumbling away to nothingness, skin and hair and bones turning to ash. There are not many thoughts left. Your eyes speak of what your mouthless face no longer can. Love, hope, and ending at long last. You have triumphed. The voices outside grow louder. They are on the front steps. Professor, I told you we should have checked that engine. All is growing dark. Your limbs dissolve into smoke. Quiet, Ox. No way to know the engine would smoke like that. There may be help inside. You are a ghost now, joining all the others in the house. Madame Zostra, get Brandon, join us inside. Nothing but skulls and skin fading away to soot in the entrance hall. The front door opens and a group steps inside. All is light. I just got f***ing chills because I'm going to be real with y'all for a moment. If you play the normal game of betrayal and not legacy, those are all the character names. So this is how the house was made for Betrayal, my favorite board game. That's f***ing cool. You did it, son. You did it. And I died in the process, as I always knew, being a seer and everything. Oh my my ass is right. getting fired again. You're a hero, I guess. The music died. I did fart, by the way. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I literally knew it. I knew it. Betrayal Legacy on Smosh Games. Thank you so much for joining us for this, how many, 13 episode adventure. Oh it has my been God. wild. I'm so proud of all of you. Thank you so much for showing off these amazing characters and committing so hard every single time. Thank you to Alicia, our wardrobe artist, for making these costumes happen every time. To our insane parameters, thank you to our art team for changing things up every year. We got the Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, the Boofy, the Vampire Slayer, like Boofy Poppy. And thank you to Alex for knowing what was coming in these games and yes. setting all the cards up yes. for what we'd need. Appreciate you so much. Smosh Games will be back with more continuing adventures, and that's all the info I can say right now, but you're gonna be very excited. So for the final time on Smosh Games, I have been the Boodles family. Whitmore. The Pompey family. The Braun family. The O'Brien family. Thank you, y'all. See you next time. Bye. Pork. Pass the phone. Who do you think is going to get the drunkest tonight? Pass the phone to who you think is going to get the drunkest tonight. I'm, the, I'm probably the drunkest tonight. Wonder for this one. Hello? <laughs> Yo, start from this side of purgatory. Husband dick, that's what I've been told. It's a husband Shard dick. Shard fox and a few scoosh. 63. 30-something, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I didn't like You guys will need to pick ages. Amazing, though. Okay. You're just like her, the blind old... Oh my god, all five. Kate, <laughs> Flash. You smell like trash. Are you doing that? You smell like trash. Oh. Jeez. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, I love it. Do I have any rings? Well, this is my dear 
Ben. What's your name? Bitch. Oh, this is bitch and I'm bitch. <laughs> okay. Yum, yum, yum. Candy. <laughs> is that a lollipop? Final entry 206. Your story is complete. Fenrir's story is complete. This house is yours with its own history, ghosts, and stories. You can now have a game you can play again and again. Certain things are better left unseen, so some cards will be destroyed. The house has seen enough death. Destroy what is left of the ghost sheet. The wolf is gone, and the story has reached its end. Well. Wow.